Gunstar Heroes, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. Just getting warmed up. Sit tight. Get a drink. Go to the bathroom. Come back. We'll play some Ernest Evans very soon. Sit tight. Hey everybody, welcome on in. Gunster, thank you so much for that raid, I appreciate it. Welcome Raiders. Let's see, who do we got in the chat? We got Artemidorus, we got Gunstar Heroes, we got Burst Arrow, welcome on in. Vinny C, who, Vinny, welcome on in. Moodoo, we got Tentative, welcome. A pep, 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 welcome. Elser, welcome. Uh, we got Meister Guy, welcome. Deuce, welcome. Uh, Zorak, welcome. Iron Ocean, welcome. Zorak, you're the first. Congratulations. Deuce, you're the second. Maestro Guy, you're the third. Welcome. Woogie Boogie, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. We got the chocolate, the Coco Cheerios. We're going to have one. Kane, welcome. How you doing? Good to see you. Let's have a nice one. Buddha wants to see a random retro item. You got it. All right. Welcome. Thank you for telling me I look lit. Great. It's, it's Tuesday. TB, welcome on in. How you doing? One for you? Mmm, Coco Cheerios are the best. Two. And then we got three. Mmm. It says on the back of the box, Coco, yeah! Awesome. Always eating Cheerios. Alright, so, welcome on in, guys. Uh, today's Tuesday. Um... I've been on a real kick with the Sega Genesis and Sega CD lately. I am seriously like a madman. <laughs> uh, the past few days, I've been on a website called Mercari and eBay, and I've been picking up Mega CD games left and right. This is my new flavor of the month, so to speak. Um, so I got a lot of Sega CD games coming in the mail very soon. But uh, one of the games I also picked up is this game that we're going to play tonight. Uh, Ernest Evans. I picked up Ernest Evans because it's a Wolf Team title. It says too many games. <laughs> There's never enough too many games, yeah. <laughs> um, I picked up Ernest Evans because it is a Wolf Team game, number one. Number two, um, we were playing a Wolf Team game last week. Time Gal and Soul Feast. I was like, what other games they got on the system? Ernest Evans. So I picked it up. It came in the mail yesterday. And we're going to play it. So we're going to give it a shot. And I'm told that this is a, kind of a short game. If in case we beat the game, I'm going to give it another shot at Dallas. And if I beat that, we'll take another crack at none other than Soul Feast tonight. Because fuck that last two, those last two levels. I think we could beat it though. Sure, but I wouldn't say it's easy. Yeah, I gave, I gave it a little of a bit of a preview. It's kind of an interesting game. It's like the only game I know where you have three stance. You got a standing stance, you have a ducking stance, and then you have a lying down stance. And when you're lying down, you try to get up really quick. You think you could just hit the jump button to get up fast. No. When you jump, when you're laying down, you roll and tumble, and then the game controls like lock up for quite a bit. But, um... Yeah, let's just jump right into it. But Moodoo wants to see a random retro item. 
Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. My favorite Ernest Evans game out of three is the Annette Futatabi. Actually, yeah, Mudu, I actually want to get that game. I want to get El Viento also as well. But, uh, yeah. Speaking of Mega CD, I also picked up the, the Sega CD version of the game, and that's coming in the mail, I guess, later in the week. Uh, we got a lot of Wolf Team Mega CD games coming in the mail. I'm, I'm, I splurged on the Wolf Team completely. They're not cheap. Nah. Uh, Annette, I think it's like $100-something. El Viento is like $200 for just the cartridge. It's crazy. Terrific Tuesday. Yeah, it ain't cheap at all. But, uh, yeah, random retro item. What can we show off today? Um, oh, so I got this in the mail, but sadly we can't play it because it has disc rot. It's Robo Pit for the Sega Saturn. This is a random retro item. Uh, I was I was going to put it on the list for Saturn Day this week, but take a, take a look at that. Take a look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? There's a freaking hole right in the center there. Hi. What's going on? Hi. 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 There's a, there's a hole in the fucking center. Uh, so I don't know. I might have to, like, either return it or... I don't know. I might be stuck with it. I paid $15 for it, so I don't think it's a, it's a complete loss. Worst case scenario, I'll just go and look out for a disc-only copy of this game and then just swap the disc out for this. $15. I think it would be... A, It'd be a waste to, like, um, return it because you have to pay for shipping and stuff. So I might just keep this and just say, you know, whatever. 15 bucks, whatever. Fat Super, welcome on. Did they disclose that when they sold it? I don't think so. Every C every CD has a hole in the center. <laughs> keep the box. Yeah. Uh, but I, I will be on the hunt for Robo Pit. Disc only copy very soon. Hopefully we could get that added to the list. But Muda, that's the random retro item. But actually, I'll show another one. While we're on the topic for Sega CD, this is a copy of Night Striker for the Japanese Mega CD by Taito. Uh, I have the Sega Saturn version, which has better video and resolution, but this is the Mega CD version. And um, fun fact, this will only work on a Japanese Mega CD. So if you, even if you use the, uh, the EverDrive trick to change the BIOS on your Sega CD, it will not work. This will... Only run on a Japanese Mega CD. <laughs> it's one of the very few games that, that does that. But, yeah. <laughs> Spyro, welcome on in. How you doing? Uh, so, maybe one of these days I'll hunt down a, uh, uh, a Japanese Mega CD. <laughs> so, we'll be able to play this on legit hardware. Because now we're, we're stuck using an emulator for this. But, yeah. Mega CD, yeah! Alright, so let's get started. Let's play some... Uh, Let's uh, cut this Super Robot Wars music. That 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 does some cool tunes right there. Let's just jump right into Ernest Evans. We're using the analog. What the hell is this? Using the analog Mega SG for this one. <clears throat> Let's hope this loads up. Sega Wolf Team Game Creative Staff Wolf Team Wolf Team. Oh, there it goes. It takes a while to kick on the uh, the audio. Actually, I'm gonna reset that. So, reset, Re reset. There we go. Okay, gotta get the full audio here. Wolf Team. Wolf Team puts out a, a lot of good uh, games. You got Road, Bla Road Blaster, Road Avenger. You got Cobra Command, Time Gal, Soul Feast. You got Ernest Evans. He's got the little the little. Uh, little pad on his chin like he's got the band-aid going on Meg CD was a cool name I, I I get why they changed it for the US don't call it the Sega Mega CD just call it the Sega CD <laughs> but man Ernest Evans so there's not much story to this version of the game this the Sega CD ver the Mega CD version of this game I should say um had anime cutscenes in between the levels. But here we go. Let's just get started. You know, Indiana Jones meets Castlevania with that whip. Okay. So, 
It's it's very weird. Your sprite is made up of like five different sprites go into this crouching mode. And then you get this lie down mode. But like the thing is if you jump, you go into this somersault position, which looks pretty cool, but it's annoying. Left in Japan, yeah, it was identical. Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen video of the game. Has a slightly better soundtrack because of the CD audio. Um, but also had those cutscenes as well. But same game. They it, it didn't change any of the levels or anything like that as far as I know. I got this thing following me. It's good music. Alright, jump over that. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, come on over. Nope. Come on over. You own the soundtracks A plus, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Wolf Team put out a good soundtrack for their games. Uh, Soul Feast is a good example. I love that stage two music in uh, Soul Feast. It's amazing. Pick that guy out. All right, I'll come over here. Come on, whip him. I'm good. All right, we got a key. Up, up, up. Nope, nope. And okay. Come on up, up, up. Took a tumble. Yeah. Does it feel stiff as it look? Looks. Uh, yes, <laughs> it does. Like I said, you got these. You got these three stance positions. This is like the standing and running position. If you hit down, you go into this crouching mode and you can do the same basic moves. This is how you get through like tight spots and you can like jump around and stuff. But then this is the third stance, the lying down position where you could, you crawl. And if you hit the jump button, you tumble like that. And it's so like, it, it gets really messed up because like if you say if you want to like get out of the the stance quickly you your your first instincts are to hit the jump button but you end up you end up somersaulting which sucks all right so, so this is an interesting game mechanic right here if you get this item you fall asleep for like 30 seconds or something i don't know why they put this power up here you, you it, it like throws you off completely all right so we go through the door and we get the artifact, and boom! I like I like how he does it. He's like, yes, I got the item. And then you gotta fight this boss. That is ridiculously easy. But don't be fooled, because the rest of the game gets hard. Has its charm. Yep, and there comes the, the homage to Indiana Jones. You got this big boulder that's chasing after you i might have blinked and missed it but yeah that's so you got to follow that arrow and up oh, there's the big boulder and then stage clear and then i like how the game still goes on as it says stage clear and you can still get killed all right so this is level two yeah i think this game makes more sense if you play the sega cd version because, like, in between the level, you'd watch an anime cutscene, but now there's, it, you know, it's the Genesis version, so there's no no cutscene or any story. It just cuts right to the next uh, level. Ooh, two apples. Got some life there. Cool. Jump up here. Okay, up, up. Up. Okay. All right, come on down. Annette Fudu... Futabi, Futu, Futatabi. I'm saying, I'm saying the name wrong. I'll just say, it, I'll just call it Annette again because I, I was reading up on it. it. Was ultra hard game in the series more than El, El Viento, both hard. Yeah, because that one's like a beat 'em up, like uh, Streets of Rage or something like that. Yeah, you, yeah. I think you do. She makes an appearance in this one, like in the cutscenes. Let's see. So you, you go underwater here. I'm probably gonna blur out because all the the movement. There we go. Jump out. Good. Goody. Nope. Get it. Get out. 
Come on. Jump. Alright. Look at all that damage I took just by falling into that water. Oh, crap. Alright, so we got big monsters coming out. Oh, this thing. I think I know there's a secret down here because I was playing this last night. I was playing this last night, so I, I sort of know where some of the stuff is, but I didn't really get far. Alright, so let's crawl. Alright, cool. That's when you use your crawling animation to get under under there. And uh is there anything down there? Let's find out. Let's use the, the crawl. Oh! There's something down here! I found a secret! Look at that! I found a secret! Oh man, this is so awesome. Wait a minute. D wait. Oh gosh. Did I just soft lock the game? <laughs> I'm, s I'm stuck. I can't get out of here. Oh my gosh. I'm st Oh wait, no. I'm out. I'm out. Wait. Okay, I almost had to reset the Genesis. Wait, what's what's down here? What? Wait. I found a secret. Wait, so what's the point of this area? Can I go down here? I'm a hidden boss. Wait, so I'm down here. Why would they put this here? Wait, I'm stuck at- wait, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. Alright, I'm gonna stay away from that corner. Did you post the YouTube link in the chat? It's the Mega CD or- uh, let's see if Ernest Evans- yeah! Let's go for it. I welcome it. Is this just the dead end? This is legitimately just the dead end. Let's see here. Yeah! Yeah! I love the soundtrack. Ernest goes to camp. Let's go. Yeah, see, we don't need the Sega CD version anymore. We can just you just play this. Yeah. Oh, wait, something's down here. Yeah! Cat jams. Ernest gets his ass stuck in a rock wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. That's a good. That's a, those are some good jams there. Wait. Wait, I'm stuck in the wall now. Hold on. Oh, I'm doing the moonwalk. Oh, I'm out. That shit's awesome. Okay, so what was the point of this? Is this just one giant dead end? Like, it's supposed to make you think you found something cool down here? And there's nothing in here? Like, what, what gives? There's nothing down here. It's just one giant dead end. Wow. Animations are killing you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It is right. All right, jump up. Oh, no, 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 don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, hold on. Nope. Can we climb up here? All right, good. Get out of the way. There we go. I lost all my all my life doing those shenanigans. Okay, so we get out of here. Climb up here. Oh, Easter Island statues. Oh, jump up. Uh, no, jump out of the Yep, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay, cool. Anything up here? Nothing. Oh. What do we got here? Oh. Boss. Boss that's not taking damage. I have to just stay in the corner here. Uh. There we go. Stage clear. Nice. It was before Flash Animation Pioneer game. All right, cool. That was a cool level. <laughs> oh, crap. Wow, I love how, like, getting hit with some enemies just sends you flying 100 feet in the air. 
That's amazing. All right, so we go through past this crab here. Oh, what the? Oh, what the hell? Oh, go through there. I gotta say that somersault kind of it kind of like bails you out of trouble sometimes. No, don't jump. I'm gonna do this tumble up, up. Get out of the way. There we go. <coughs> thanks, uh, thanks for the GGs. We got past the second level. Now we're on the third. Yeah, the rollout it seems to work. Very effective escape me measure. Except that if you want to control the game, you're kind of effed. All right, I jump up here. Ooh, I got rocks. I got rocks. Oh, I lose my whip. You could change your weapon with the C button. Let's see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this weapon on an M enemy. Maybe it's something good. Ooh, what is that? It's a booby trap. Shit. Okay. Oh, hey, the rocks work. They they bring those guys down in one, in one hit. All right, come on over here. All right. Let's see. Got eleven. Oh shit. Another booby trap. Oh no, I tumbled. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry about that, Peppy. Let's see. Uh, throw rock. No, no, no. Come back here. Throw rock. Oh uh, no, I tumbled again. Don't go in the lava. All right, jump out of the way. Come up here. No, no, no. Jump up. No, no. Damn it. Oh man, I wanted to see what was up there. No, throw rock, throw rock, throw rock. Oh. Nope. Hang on. Oh, cubby hole. What's this diamond? Um, what the hell does that diamond do? Extra life, maybe? Jump. Nice. Get out of the way. Cool. Wait, I don't have any. Fuck. I don't have any more rocks. Jump. There we go. Oh, another diamond. Two diamonds. Uh, okay. Oh, there's something down here. Oh, man. I'm going to find out what that is. What is this? Please be something. Yes! Full health. Look at that. Wow, that was pretty cool. It's a good thing I found that. All right, so if I go forward, what's in here? Oh, another boss? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's with this boss? This boss is pretty easy. Wait, did I did I just win? I just killed that boss. Stage, wow, I did it. Okay, I'm beating this game <laughs> tonight. I think I might beat this within like 30 minutes or something. This is pretty good. What's this? We got a turtle? We got a giant turtle. Oh no. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, what the hell are those? Ectoplasms? They're just there for show. They're just there for show. You don't hit them. Oh, so you jump on this. The platforms in this game are weird. It's like, if you jump on a moving platform, you sink through it. And I don't know if that's because of the physics in the game. Right, come back over here. No, 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 come back. Okay, there we go. This game's a gem. All right, we're going down here. Booby, more booby traps. Oh, we got more turtle shells. Beat it like the wind, El Viento. <laughs> okay, uh, what's this? Whoa! Oh, shit. That makes you go flying. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Cool, that's pretty cool. You go, you go flying. Boom! Nice. Oh, wait, wait, oh! Insta-kill. All right, continue. All right, we gotta use one continue because I wasn't paying attention. What do you gotta jump over? Well, we got spikes. Jump on the platform. Run that way. Wait, what is this? I think... Wander Maven, welcome on in. Always the crabs. Darf Nate, welcome on in. Never expected a game like this from the name. Licensed sports game name, Ernest Evans. Yeah, you, you'd think it's like a tennis game or something. Ernest Evans, he's the pro tennis player. 
Wait, I guess I gotta swing up here somehow? Yeah, okay, there we go. Run past here. Oh, oh I'm gonna die again. Uh, okay, that those spiders take mega damage. What is this? More turtles. Another turtle. Oh, turtle shell just goes flying. For Evan's sakes. This is if is if Indiana Jones play like Q Op. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Q Op. Okay. Oh. Whip these guys out. Okay, come back here. Come back here. Keep whipping. Alright, come back. Wait! Am I gonna get killed? Oh, we got it. Boss? Ooh! Looks like some sort of magician. Oh. Duck. Jump. Duck. Uh. Two. Three. Oh, snap. Jump. Wait, no. No. Oh, jump. Oh, fuck. Alright, stay, stay close. I think. Yep, close one. Oh, shit. I beat him on a little bit of health. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. All right. So I don't know how we did that, but we beat that level. Oh, what the hell is this? We're on a train now. And gotta love this guy's hat. He's carrying a steel lead pipe. And he's dan these guys are like dancing around. Okay, come back here. All right, cool. We killed him. That guy took a lot of hits. And that, that guy's still jumping around dancing. Oh, I got him. All right, cool. We're gonna keep going. And... Oh, crap. What the hell is this? Are they like old mobsters or something? Working for Al Capone? Jojo Stardust? Yeah, that was a clutch boss fight. Almost thought I had to use a continue there. All right, come back. All right, stay here. I hope these enemies don't respawn. Oh, did that guy just jump through the ceiling? He did. He's... Wow, he's out of control, this guy. All right, so then we jump here. We can't go this way. Wait, can we jump up here? No? Do we have to jump on this? We gotta jump through the ceiling. Yeah! Okay, what do we got now? Up! Oh, the plane? Wow. Alright, just... Oh! Oh, there, there they are. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Pick that up. Wait, go backwards? Hit, hit this Al Capone looking guy. Oh, wow, he's jumping around. Wow, he went flying. Okay. Um. Okay, can't go back that way. Gotta go forward. Alright, keep going. That guy. Whoa, whoa! Dude, I died because of a fucking glitch. Alright, I'm gonna attack this guy. There we go. Oh, he's dead. The toy planes. <laughs> yeah, that's what they look like. Toy planes. I guess this game takes place in, like, the early uh, 20th century. Oh, crap. What do we got here? Boss? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Please don't die. 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 There we go. It says go left. What we got on the plane? What? Whoa! He got on a plane and he flew out of here. That's the shortest level ever. Thanks to the GG. Still got some rocks? No, I don't. Okay. Ooh. Okay, for a second there, I thought the scene, like, like if you look, you run to the left here, it looks like this, the, the scene, like, was, like, scrolling off, but it looks like that that's a part of the background, this, this little black spot here. Like, when... I... I thought this was like they, like a programming error. Actually, it kind of looks like a programming error in the background. The Annette Futabi car. Oh, is that Annette? Yeah, that's Annette with the green hair. Oh, man. Wow, this is a cool stage. I'm in a car, and I just fell off the car. Shit. Can I get back on the car? She's still in the car. <laughs> She's just like, oh, I just crashed into a wall, and I'm just going to stand here like this. 
and it's crashing the wall. Oh yeah. All right, so now we're over here. Yeah, she's cool. She got her own beat 'em up game, and I think she was in El Viento. There we go. Sega CD version adds CD music and weird cutscenes. Yeah, it, it, the Sega CD version I think makes more sense because it it sort of explains what's going on, even though it's in Japanese. You know, at least there's there's some sort of story that is being told and it's paced out in between stages. But here, the Genesis, after you beat a level, it just jumps you, it just puts you straight into the action immediately. It's kind of like the uh, the Sega Genesis version of uh, of Cliffhanger. Every time you beat a level, it just brings you to the next level. In the Sega CD version, it plays a clip from the movie. It's got, it's got a knife guy here doing backflips and kicks. And there you go, I killed him in the air. Let's see here. Oh, come back. Attack him, come back. Attack him, come back. Attack him. Fall back. There we go. Got him. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I love how I'm whipping him, like, while fa I'm facing forward. I'm still doing damage. There we go. Got him. Wow, this is the most broken physics game ever. But hey, it's Wolf Team. It kicks ass. Let's see. Do I fall down? Oh, wait. Okay. Boss, it's playing the boss theme. It's a, it's a plane. What is, what is that? Is that like a blimp or something? It's, it's a, it's a prop cycle. Oh, I, all I gotta do is just run back and forth and whip. I think that's all I have to do. Did I win? Is there another form? Wow, that was the easiest boss ever. They made it seem like it was the hardest boss ever. All right, next level. We're in a... Thanks for the GG. Oh, wow. Wait. We're on the next level. We got enemies. Like some sort of forest. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. Right, come back. Come up. There we go. Jump up. Whoa. No, 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 no. Come back. Can I kill this thing? Or is this thing just for show? Oh, I killed it. Nice. Cool. Here we go, jump up. Oh, stay down. Yo, Dave, welcome on in. How you doing? We're playing Ernest Evans. It's very interesting. Very interesting game. I gotta say, I think it's, it, it's almost worth the price of admission that I, I paid just to play, to get this game, which was about 30 US dollars. Right, hang on. Oh, don't, don't get killed. One life bar left. I, I wonder if there's a way to get more life. Maybe I just got lucky in the early stages. Oh, run past this. There you go. All right. Just run. Very interesting. It's one of the, It's like... I think this was like an early Sega Genesis title. It was like 91, 92. This thing. I'm going to jump over him. Wow. That was the easiest... That was even more easy. There was no boss. We're in a dungeon now. Come on. Or maybe this is part two of that level. Oh man, I like I like the pa the broken parallax scrolling in the background. If you look out the window, if I if I move slightly to the left, it moves like like a bunch of like wow, that's broken. That's broken. That's some broken parallax. I like I like games that have good parallax scrolling, but man, that's that's motion sickness inducing. Looks like looks like a, a nice and satisfying game to quickly and easily go through. Yeah, it's like the Terminator for the Sega Genesis. You can beat that in like five minutes. Um, a lot of people think that the Sega CD version of the Terminator is just the Genesis game with CD audio tracks and clips from the movie, but no. Terminator on the, the Sega CD is an upgrade over the Genesis version. The Genesis version is just this quick five-minute game with some key scenes from the movie. That's about it. It's the uh, the Future War, which is level one. Level two is the, the streets. 
Then it's the police station and it's the final scene. It's the fastest game ever on the Genesis. Wow, am I gonna beat this guy? And eh, I'm gonna die. Continue number three. I can just stay here and just whip this guy. He's probably the boss. And I just, I went past him. Six string with the 13 months. Welcome on in here, buddy. Thank you. 14 months with 13 streak. Thank you. Hey, it's been a while. Thank you so much for the sub, Six String. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. We're playing Ernest Evans for the Sega Genesis. And it's definitely an interesting game. I, I said it's 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 Indiana Jones meets Castlevania, but that's kind of a insult to Castlevania. I'd say that this is this is Indiana Jones meets Q-Ops, as somebody stated in the chat. Q-Ops, that flash game where you have to control a runner using the Q, W, O, P keys on your keyboard, and it's the most broken thing ever. Okay, I think this level, you just have to climb up the stairs. I like the chain in the background, in the foreground, indicating that I'm going a very, I'm going up a very long uh, line of stairs here. There you go, I made it to the top. Oh, wait. Wait. Uh. Okay. You know, I have a feeling I was supposed to kill that creature back on the bottom of the stairs. The level is just looping right now. Oh, wait. No. Is it? The level is just looping at this point. I think I was supposed to kill that creature all the way down the stairs. And because I, I clipped past him... Oh, yeah, here he goes. There we go. I killed him. Yep, I had to kill that creature in order to beat the level. Nice. All right, now we're back in the jungle. That's pretty cool. The Michael Bay explosions on every hit is, are like a trap. I think the mob is dead and go forward. The mob is alive and well. <laughs> I'm doing great, Six String. Good, good to hear from you. We're, uh... I took a little bit of a streaming break. I was supposed to stream yesterday, but I was like, eh, I need to rest. Cause I ha we had a we had a pretty late stream Saturday, uh, so... And... Fri and, uh... Did we stream Friday? I almost forget. I know Thursday we had a pretty late stream. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday... Yeah, we streamed every day. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday were very late streams, so... I wanted to take a little bit of a break. Oh, we're in the swamp. Oh, get out of the way. Saturday was was great, yeah. Oh, oh there's apple up here. Wait, don't die. Don't die. There we go. All right, come up top here, grab the thing. Perfect. So I could swing... Okay, jump out of the way. Oh, oh. Okay, so I gotta be careful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The hell? Whoa! Two, con two continues. I gotta get out of here. And I got... That's what those are. Piranhas. Oh, come on. Get up. I gotta kill this thing. Is this a boss? Well, I'm gonna die again. I hope this isn't a boss. That's a boss. This is a boss. I just keep whipping them. Whip them good. This is a boss. This is this is definitely some sort of boss. Come on, go down. Oh, got him. Wow, these stages are so easy. What do we got next? All right. Whatever this level is, here we go. Oh, falling down. Let's see here. We're falling down. Infinite. Oh, I, I got the sleeping potion. I have no idea why they did that. Oh, 
Oh, oh, step, 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 step. No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Uh. Wow, that's so cheap. Wow, this is the most cheapest thing I've ever seen. Come on. Nope. Alright, fall down. No, I died. Last credit, let's go. Just run down here, in the water. I beat the level! What the hell is this? We're in the water. The jankiest animation ever. Oh shit, we're underwater. Is this a boss fight? Oh crap. Oh crap, crap. No! Game over. Oh, wow. Damn. I gotta say, some of the, some of the freaking, that was, that was jank. All right, we're doing that again. At least we know what to do. Wait, so close. That was the last level? Tentative, was that the last level? I felt like I got pretty far. You don't know? I don't know. I think we were getting closer to the end, it felt like. I know this is a short game. All right, we'll try to go, go through here. We're doing this again. I think we could do it. At least we know what to what to expect. Jump. Oh. Oh, come up, jump. Yo, pep pep peppy, thanks for the two hundred biddies. Headed to Dreamland King of Six. Have a good night, a pep pep peppy. Thank you for the stopping and I appreciate you. Thank you for the two hundred bits. That, that boss fight seemed impossible. I got sucked into him. And he uh, kept going at it. Let's see. Alright, so I jumped through here. Alright, come on up. One more level after that fish. Yeah. That was bullshit, though. Like, I fell right into the sleeping potion. And I couldn't get back up, like, really quick, because of that stupid roll animation thing. Oh, back up. It's like the game designers knew exactly what they were doing here. Yeah, let's just put, let's put Sleeping Potion right there where there's a bunch of enemies. There we go. Like, they put the Sleeping Potion right here. Ready, set, go, jump. There we go. Oh, grab it. Booby traps everywhere. Come on, take that. Go that way. Oh, stay there. No, 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 no. Come on, jump over here. There we go. Oh, big boulder. All right, so you just have to run away from the big boulder as fast as possible. Nope. Did it. Yeah, as soon as you, you, you trigger that stage clear screen, you're invisible. Invincible. All that boulder, Indy. Might be janky, at least it's not too frustrating. Yeah, that last part was, was a bit frustrating, but the re rest of the game wasn't that bad. Once you get down the controls, it's not so bad. Let's see, grab two apples. There's some secrets here. As long as you can master the secrets, you should be okay. Let's see, fall down here. Oop. Get this guy. Jump, jump up here. Oh. There you go. Come on up. Oh, I know there's an apple up here. Get the apple. 
Come on. There we go. So so much slowdown. There we go. Got the apple. Jump out. No. <sighs> jump. Jump. There we go. Head on out. Monster comes out. There we go. Jump, jump. Run, 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 run. All right. Run down. At least we know to get the piece of meat down here. There we go. Oh, I got hit. Oh, there's not a piece of meat. It's just a bunch of apples. Okay, not too bad. Right, crawl out of here. Come up. Jump. Don't go down the secret passageway. Because that does absolutely nothing. All three games in the series, just hard for the limited credits. Three. All three has three credits only. I think they, they give you five in this one, so it's a little bit more forgiving. Stay. Jump. Jump again. And then this boss just run in the corner and you don't get killed. Just stay in the corner and whip him. Easiest thing ever. Might take some damage, but it's not so bad. Stage clear. Guess so. Goody. This level. Get hit. Go 100 feet in the air. Fall down. It's not too bad. Scorpions. This level, yeah, this level's not so bad. Now that I know that secret where you can get all that health, it's not. It's definitely not bad at all. All right, jump. Run. I'm an explorer, like like Indiana Jones. It, the other ones are really hard. El Viento gets really hard, so Ernest Evans is the easiest. Yeah, I think on this run we should be able to do it. If we could just get past that boss without taking damage, I think we got this. Oh, throw the rocks. Jump. Booby traps. Alright, fall down. Oh, come on. Jump. Another. Come on. Come back. Duck. There we go. Come on up. Take it. So what is up here? I was trying to get up there before and... Something up here. I wonder if there is something up here. More rocks. That's what. That's your reward. More rocks. So we got 26 rocks. Okay. Grab one of these. Come on. Ready, set, go. Cool. Okay, so I gotta go this way, fall down one, grab this diamond, and I think you have to go back and get that medicine, and that gives you full health. Nope. Close one. Full health, there we go. Alright, cool. I'll just run the hell out of here. Yeah, I noticed in the menu there was no difficulty setting either, it's, so this is just the default difficulty it gives you. Throw a rock at him. Wow, it's even easier with the rocks. All right, next level. So you don't keep the rocks from the previous stage. Oh, crap. Oh, stand back. There we go. All right. Don't even mess around. Just run away from them. That was a close one. There we go. Just keep attacking them. Wait. This speed... I'm gonna go be a speedrunner for Ernest Evans. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it. Oh, crap. That turtles. 
turtle sucks. Okay. Keep running. Take that and go. Up. Oh. Go this way. Jump up. Come around. Jump. Nice. Close one. All right, run through. Just, yeah, just jump. Jump over the turtle. You don't even have to attack that turtle. Switch to this whip. And let's fight. Let's F up this guy. Jump. 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 This guy go down because of this weapon. Oh, I got him. Yeah, that, that, that whip is really good. Okay, that super charge whip is perfect. All right, so this level's easy. We know for a fact this level's easy. This this train level is a joke. I don't even think you need to even kill these guys. You can just run past them. Okay, just run past them like that. Jump over that guy. It's a joke, this level. All right, come up here, jump up here. Go this way. Oh. Run. Jump. Jump. You pick up the artifact. I think you just have to go back this way. Look at that. A joke. Look at this. I'm going to beat this level. Come back over here. Duck down here and just attack him. Yeah, look. I just attack him from here. He, he's not doing a the damage. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Get on the plane. Way. Done. Stage clear. That's the easiest level in the game. All right. So this level, we fight. We play as a net. Stay on the car. I don't think we're doing. I don't think we're doing damage at all. All right. So we go this way. Fight these knife guys, which are easy. I don't even think we have to attack them. Just jump over them. Oh, okay. When he when they do those backflips, you gotta jump over them. There we go. Jump over them. Jump, jump over them. Run away. The plane. All right, and then you just run back and forth. Yeah, run back and forth. And boom, dead. Done. Easiest boss. Too many Arnolds. World record is eight minutes and 33 seconds. Oh, let's go. Let's go, we got this. All right, this level, this level is BS. You just shoot, you just attack. Yes. Yeah, I think we're almost there. After this level, it's the jungle level, and then after the jungle level, you go inside. Oh, we're going. Oh. The stairs. At least we know with the stairs, you just have to attack that walking creature spider-looking thing. Go forward. There you go. Jump over that. Jump over that. There we go. Jump over that. I think you just walk out. You just take... You find the exit and you're good. There. That's it. No boss. You just go past that. Then it's the stairs. Stairs, you just have to climb up and kill that boss. I'm probably gonna die though. Yep, this guy, take him out. Oh, 
There you go. I just stay under him. There you go. I got him. Wow. That is... Forget about it. Forget about it. That's the easiest level in the game. And then the jungle. Come on. We're like the last three levels. Let's go. Run. All right. Be careful not to fall in the swamp because the swamp... Oh, crap. Oh. Timber! Wait. Can I climb up here? I could climb up the vines. I didn't even know you could do that. All right, save that for the boss. Jump over. Oh, no, 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 no. Dead. All right, grab one continue. That's okay. Grab the health. Oh, crap. I just, like, wiggle and I come off? Yep. Jump. Oh. The piranhas! I think we just attack this thing and they come off. Oh. Run out. Hold on. So I have two continues used already. We shoot this bug looking thing. There you go. And then you fight the plant boss over here. Whatever this is. Oh. Just attack this plant looking thing. Jump over. Jump. Grab that. Whip up. Done. Cool. All right. Last two levels. Ooh, we got three more continues. I think we could do this. All right. So this part, I think you just have to falling rocks just fall to the left but don't fall in the center because then you get you get the um the sleeping potion which we don't want i think we just have to fall in the water there you go hold on oh 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 Wow, the fucking boulder gets in the way. Three, we just fall down. There we go. We didn't have to take that continue. All right, so we got two more continues. So what do we got? So you can swim with the B button. So you stay down here. You can keep you can keep attacking this thing. All right, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Oh, took a continue. Oh. Oh, I got him. Stay here. Uh oh. Sort of see what's going on. You gotta attack this fish. Set up the bullshit. Oh, there we go. We got him. Look at that. There we go. We beat it. Not bad. Oh, we're on the last level. What is this? Oh, shit. I guess this is the last level. Yep, we gotta attack this guy. So it comes out. Oh, attack him. Come on. Comes out. Hang on. Got him. Another form. Eyeballs. Just run away. Oh, whatever this is, we're fighting it. If 
Final boss vibes. What we got? Last credit. Rambo style. Oh, we get him? Last form? Wait. What the hell is this? Final boss. What the hell is this? Oh shit. Uh oh, I'm dead. Nope. Dead. Ah. Game over. That's the last boss. Oh. All right. This is the final boss right here. We almost had it. That's the final boss. Okay, so there's three forms of that that boss fight. We could do it. We definitely could do this. This isn't so bad. The game teases you and makes you think that this game is easy until you get up to that point. Okay, so the fish. The fish, you just, ha you just have to go back and forth until you do damage to all those uh, orbs surrounding it. But. Excuse me. That shit's rough. Okay. Oh crap, don't die. Alright, jump around here. Keep going. Jump up. That, that cloaked, that cloaked uh, boss at the end, uh, he looks easy, but he, he has like a third form, which is... Oh, stupid armadillo. Don't die. I did pretty good at the beginning. I didn't use a continue until like later on. The fish. Come on. There we go. Keep going. Climb out of here. Jump. Jump. Take that. back skeleton guys even is pretty bad jump around here boom boom take it grab it this boss oh crap I hate that. This, the, the giant boulder just comes out and wipes you out. Jump, jump. Big boulder coming. Got it. Ooh, it went flying. All right, this level. Okay, you can sort of BS it, but it's not recommended. Jump. Two apples, perfect. Jump out of the way, come out. Jump. So this is our third attempt. Third attempt at the fight. Oh, these fishies at the bottom are a pain. Right, jump up. Don't take 
damage. Come on, go up. Go that way. We got another fish. There you go. Perfect. Jump over. I think as long as you get up to this point, it's not so bad. Go. Ah, crap. Don't die. Don't die. No. Ah, fuck. Ugh. Nope. We're setting. <laughs> Can't use a continue early on like that. I gotta save it for later. Go. Jump over that. Jump over that. And it's not that bad of a game, I must say. Uh, it has its moments. Jump over that. There we go. Elster wants to see a random retro item, you guy. Let's take a break. Show off a random retro item. What can we show off today? Um. Okay, so this is a game on the Mega Drive that I've been meaning to play. It's called Battle Gopher. Battle Gopher. Yuffie. It's a Mega Drive game. It's a random retro item. I got this at my local game store like a long time ago and I still haven't played it yet. We should totally play this. <laughs> I think it's a golf it's a golf RPG game. Uh half golf, half RPG sort of deal. Um it only came out in Japan. And you know, I'll show off another one. We have um this dodgeball game. That's really cool. <laughs> one, two, three, but you need to save for VIP. Yui, 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 Yui. Did I say Yui? Or Yui? Yui or Yue? Yue? Yui? Oh, you're saving for the VIP. Go for it. Dodgeball. Yeah, it's like a legit dodgeball game for the Mega Drive. It's just like the PlayStation game. I was trying it out before. Yui. You we come on up. Come back here. Whip. Jump. Jump. Jump over that. Whip. Grab that. There we go. One world, it's the girl's name. Ah, okay. Right, so if I stay here, I don't think I get attacked by the boulder. Jump, run, jump, jump. Here comes the boulder, did it. All right, starting to pass these first two stages with these. I think you just have to take your time on the vine part here. You attack these vines, you just gotta take your time. Don't just run through it. Crush, but GG, yeah, thanks. Yeah, so this is our fourth attempt. We hit, we raged on uh, the third attempt on this stage because I, I had to use a continue. I don't want to use. I don't want to use a continue early on. I want to save the continues for later. Much later. I wonder if I. I wonder if I could jump over that. I probably could make that jump. You know what? I probably could. That's why they put this thing here. That's why. Yeah, that's why they put that there. I think you, you could swing. 
Yep, you could. You could swing. Avoid that water area altogether. Try that once more. No. There's definitely a way to jump up there. There we go. Okay, cool. Grab the thing. Skip that water segment altogether. That water area is just a pain in the neck the whole time. All right, so jump over here. Jump up. No. No! This is how I got killed last time. There we go. Jump. That's how I died the last time. That was really annoying. What's in here? Oh, I got a... Oh, this is cool. I got the hat. I got this... Oh, snap. I got, like, this really cool hat. This really cool weapon. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to come out. Go down like this. The indie hat. Yeah. I got a really cool whip. Okay, we're going to beat this. Hey, Zordown. Welcome on in. How you doing? I don't know if I said hi to you before or not, but welcome. All right, so we got the whip. Go. Jump. Okay, so we jump over here and just whip. It's like a laser whip. Q-Wop Indiana Jones. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that laser whip does damage. Do I keep the laser whip? No, I don't. The mega whip. I wonder if I could get it back again. That was really cool. That would do wonders on the on the boss, the final boss section. Seems like every stage has like a secret item. It's so level three. Oh, took damage. That's alright, I'm gonna get health very soon. Oh. Ah. It just gets really annoying when you lose life very quick in this game. Alright, so save the rocks for a good time. Oh, no. Oh. No. Nope. Jump. Took little damage, but that helped. Full. Sit down. Oh, duck, 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 duck. Okay, good, good, good. Throw a thing. No, 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 no. Come back here. Damn it. Look at all that damage I took already. Jump. Jump. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. There you go. Jump. No, no, no. Come up. No, no. Come up here. There we go. Good. We gotta get the health. Down here. Jump. No, 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 no. Come on. Ready, set, go. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Jump up. Get the thing. Come back. Can I throw? Does the, the rock go through the thing? Oh, wait, no, the rock doesn't go through the thing, so I could just wait here. Oh, kill the thing. There we go. Full health, look at that, nice. All right, jump out. Now that's jank, yeah. Oh, jump, no, 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 no. There we go. Saved by the rocks. 
Saved by the rocks. Here we go. It's gonna. That's why they put that scorpion over there, so you get attacked. All right, level four. This level is pretty easy. I don't need to jump. I can just jump over that guy. Jump over him. Grab it. Jump over these guys. Yeah, whoop these eyeball looking things. There we go. Get the spiders. Cool. Haven't used the continue yet, so that's good news. Alright, run through here. That thing's gonna is gonna shoot and attack me. Blow up already. Just fucking die already. There we go. Just flash and run away. Take it. Go. There we go. Spider. Whip those spiders. Jump. Jump. Nice. Okay. Take the whip. There we go. Take it. Nope, run past. Get the, get the spiders. Way over front. The limited run games, Atari games, Yards of Revenge. You're better off just going to a local game store that sells Atari games used and just getting Yards for Revenge for like ten bucks, maybe less. That's that's not a that's not an expensive game at all, Yards of Revenge. Yeah, I agree. 150 bucks for Yards Revenge? Are you out of your Wow, that's crazy. 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 I wouldn't spend that much. I think we got him. There we go. Got lucky there. Very common. I mean, if it was like a homebrew or something. Like, there was a game that just came out recently. I think it's called Circus Convoy. Um, that I paid a lot of money for. I paid like 50 bucks, like brand new boxed. That I think would be worth, you know, 50 and not $150. That's like that Street Fighter limited edition cartridge that, uh, went out recently. That, I think they wanted a hundred and something dollars for that game. Like, come on now. I right, don't die. Thirty nine or something, yeah. I mean, even if it's like a re-release, like, what do you just get the game, or does it come with like a limited edition box, the soundtrack, <laughs> the art, the art of yours revenge? Does it come with a book with Howard, Howard Scott Warshore? I, I think I'm saying his name wrong. H S W. All right, this level. No, he was in the AVGN movie. Oh, there's a piece of meat in the center. Can I run back and get that meat? I think you could. Oh crap. Can you get the piece of meat? Uh oh. You can get the piece of meat. Look at that. That's really cool. That is dope. I had no idea you get that piece of meat in the beginning. Alright, so can we jump over? Can this guy just jump over here? Yep. Alright, it took a little damage, but that's okay. That's okay. It was worth getting that piece of meat. Attack this guy. Oh, let's see. Jump over there. Oh, okay. Stand up. Perfect. Uh, jump. Take a little bit of damage each time. Each time. Jump. Stand back. Jump. Alright. 
jump. Okay, run past these guys. Boss. This boss is a joke. I'm sorry, this boss is a joke. All you gotta do is just whip him, run around. Just do this, and boom, I got him. Done. Easy peasy. I think the next level are the jungle levels. Still haven't taken a credit yet, so that's good. Yeah, and then you just... I don't think you have to fight these guys. You just run past them. I mean, it's probably a good idea to fight these guys just so they don't get in your way sort of deal. Nice, got through there. The disrespect, yeah. Not even that stuff? You don't get an art book? Or a soundtrack CD of the game? Level straight from the Nos Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. Where's that from? I have no idea. Boom, boom, jump. Jump, up. Come on, keep whipping them. Whip, 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 jump through. That's the easiest level. All right, then I think the next one's the stairs. You just whip the hell out of the boss inside. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, crap. All right. First continue used, because that was BS. Got him. All right. I used one continue. Studio Ghibli anime film. Levels 100% from it. Yeah. They probably took it inspiration from the animes. Okay, so this level I got killed on by falling into the swamp. I want to see if there's a way I could, I could avoid that. So I think there are these jungle vines you could cling on to. Yeah, you could do yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh. There we go. Okay, that happened. I forgot about those. Okay. Can we climb up here? Alright, so you use that what? What? And then I run out and I get... <sighs> Grab that. So I have two... Con I'm down to three continues so far. That's not good. This, you just jump straight out. Over. Jump this way. Attack this thing. We run away and jump. Jump again. Close one. Alright, then I run all the way over here. Oh, don't go that way. Now I gotta kill that flying thing. Stay there. Come on, keep attacking. There we go. Fight this thing now. Come on, attack him. Come on, there we go. Easy peasy. Okay, next level. Is that the water level? Okay, this level, stay to the right. Don't get the sleepy medicine. Just stay up as much as possible. Don't get the sleepy thing. 
No matter what, don't get the sleepy thing. Don't duck either. Run. No, no, no. Just fall. Just fall. No. No. No, 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 no. Don't fucking die. Just run. Run. Yes. Did it. Water level. Close one. Then you fight the boss, which this boss sucks. This boss sucks. You just gotta keep whipping. Whip until these ball thingies go away. There we go. I think they all eventually go away. Thanks to the GGs. Uh, no, no, don't pack the ball thingies surrounding him until he goes away. Got be patient. You really just have to be patient with this boss. This boss will be annoying. Come on. Come on, one more. No, no, no. Don't die. I'm gonna die. after him. Come on, just die already. Got him. Yeah! Fucking A. Three continues left, we beat him. Final boss-ish. Alright, at least we know the trick to this fight. I wonder if there's like a health item or something. Comes out. Comes out. Whip. Nope, oh, stand back. Jump. There we go. Come on, just die already. There we go. Now run away from the eyes. Just run away from them. There we go. This guy, just attack him. He's got three forms-ish. Come back. And he starts throwing the, the fireballs. You just stay in the center. Crap. There you go. Stay in the center. He's going to shoot three. Just attack him. Got him. And then the third and final form, we got three continues. Just when it's safe to attack, you approach slowly. Tat approach slowly, this last form. This looks like a final form. All right, so you just wait here. When it comes to a complete stop. There we go. There you go. Come back. Yep, there we go. Dead. Okay, that's okay. We got three continues. We're gonna do it. Come on. Just attack. Yep. Come back. And come back. I'm back. Attack. 
Up, stand back, chill. Got him, done. I think we beat it. Done. Hour and 40 minutes, not bad. Stage clear. Is that it? Hey, we beat the game, look at that. <laughs> we beat it. Four attempts, or three attempts technically. Ernest Evans. We beat it. Thanks to the GG's. That was an easy boss fight. <laughs> After pile driving through the whole thing, it's not that bad at all. Nice, good stuff. Programmed by Bug Taro. Thanks to the GG's, Zorak. Graphics by Tasio Yamamoto Masayuki Anita. Gotta love the background art, him <laughs> getting chased by the uh, the falling rock. Good stuff. Good game. Good ending. Executive producer. The CD track, the end credits is amazing. I love that tragic clap theme. All right, so cool. Cool ending. All right. Is that it? I don't think I don't think we get anything for beating that game at all. It just it we just ends. It just ends. Okay. Nice. Beat the game. So we gotta play the uh, the Mega CD version when I get it and it arrives. All produced by Wolf Team. Game creative staff, Wolf Team. All produced by Wolf Team. Does it stop there? Nope, it keeps going. Oh, it stops there. It's still running. To oh, and he got crushed by the ball. And he's like, thumbs up. Wolf team. All right, so that's the game. <laughs> that's Wolf team. That's no, not Wolf team. That's Ernest Evans. Dun, 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 dun. Options. Yeah, we got nothing for doing that. All right, so let's see here. Next slide. All right, so that was Ernest Evans. Let's pop in the next game. Let's play some Valis. Now, let's see. I don't know if I have to clean this card or not. So, let me just uh, get the, the rubbing alcohol out. And we'll play some Valis. Well played indeed. That was a good game. A little janky, but I enjoyed it. All right. Yeah, so I got some really cool Mega CD games coming very soon. I'll give you a hint. One of them is a shmup. One of them is a shmup. And it's not Lords of Thunder. Because that only came out in America. In PAL Europe. I know. Get back in there, you. Game. Valis. Alright, so let's update the title on Twitch. Valis. Actually, hold on. I think I have Valis. No, I don't have a title for Valis on here, do I? Uh, okay. So Valis, Mega Valis the Phantom Phantasm Soldier. That came out in 1986. Well, oh, hold on. When did the Mega Drive version come out? It came out in. Uh. Came out in 1991, so we could say 1991, and that's Telenet. Uh, Valis, the Phantasm Soldier, and that was 1991 Riot. 
like Riot put that out. Right? Riot put that one out. Right? Or no, it's Telenet. Or no, the Japanese version was Riot. The publisher, I guess we could say, well, hold on, it is Wolf Team. Originally developed, published by Telenet. I guess we could say Wolf Team. We'll, sit, we'll call it Wolf Team. Or I'll just put Telenet. Telenet Sega Mega Drive. Mega Drive. Let's give this a go. First playthrough. Sounds good. You could guess it. <laughs> Let's play this game. So we started the, we started playing this last week, but uh, we're giving it another go. Let me lower that just a tad. All right, let's play. It's Granada. I have Granada. All right, so we're back to this one. You can tell what Wolf Team did this. That's their font they use on their Sega Genesis games. They probably have the same farting sound effects they used in Soul Feast. Okay, so you got the slide. All right. Last time we played this, we got pretty far. We got up to a boss that killed us after, like, shooting us with thunder once. All right, so we powered up our shot. Oh, come on, slide. Riot. Ba -ba -na -na jump over to us. I got this game for like... How much did I get this game for? I got this for under 20 bucks at my local game store. Japanese version, not the same publisher for US. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. What well, said on the front it was Telenet on the main page. So I put down Telenet down. Telenet, Wolf Team, Renovation, they're all the same basically. Almost. They all went on to make uh, Namco Tales Studio. Let's see. I'm trying to think if I, like, forgot to change the title anywhere else. I changed the Twitch title. I changed the cover art over on the on my stream screen. And the title at the top. And it's Japanese telling it. Yeah. They put out a lot of PC Engine stuff, uh, especially on CD. I think they brought us Deathbringer. Now, I think the PC Engine version of uh, of uh, Altered Beast, they put that out. I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. Yeah, Altered Beast came out on CD-ROM for the PC Engine in Japan. It looks so. It looks cool because it has cutscenes. Um, that game originally came out in the uh, arcades in uh, Sega Genesis. Telenet. I jump up here. So if I hit start, all right. So we don't have any magic. You start out with no magic in this game, but you get magic as you go. There we go. Gotta love those jams. Oh, one up, jump up. Da -da -da. Go. Boom. Go. And we go. Up, oh, jump straight up. Oh, get that MP up. Let's fight that boss. First boss. One, two, three. Oh, what happened? Three, four, five. Rambo style. Jump. Come on. Come on. There we go. Easy, easy. Get Phantasm Julie. All right, what do we get for that? I'm skipping this because we don't understand Japanese. 
But, you know, we'll leave it on. Why the hell not? For archival sakes, we'll keep the Japanese text running. No sound during the cutscenes, though. Oh, there it is. So I guess this is like some sort of powerful wizard or something, and he's given her the pat, uh, the magic powers of being the the phantasm soldier, of Valis. Wait. Huh? Oh. Music is really great for Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, I should say. Doesn't sound like the FM sound. I think they used like a special chip or something to make it sound pretty good. Yeah, so I'm bad at, at keeping surprises. The, uh, the, one of the mega CD games I picked up was Robo Eleste. It was the Japanese version, though. So, that was the shmup. Actually, I, I, I originally used to own Robo Eleste, um, Eleste, uh, but I sold it like a fool. So I picked up the Japanese version, because I heard the, the, I heard it's slightly better. So I picked that one up. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'll definitely play that. That's a good game. It's not as good as Musha though, but Musha, Musha, I gotta hunt down. I got, I want to get the Japanese version of Musha because the the price difference is is really great. I think it's like $150 uh, for the Mega Drive version, but the Genesis version's like $500. It's crazy. For uh, a good shmup on the on the Genesis. I mean, it's also on the Genesis Mini. Woo, indeed. All right, I'm skipping this. Fuck it. Dallas Three Mega Drive is your favorite. They made the fourth one on the Super Nintendo, I think. Right. I don't think they made any Dallas games for Sega CD. That was on the PC Engine. They uh, they made the CD version. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. I'm just going to run away from this guy. F him. The snowy depths. Phallus 4 on the Super Famicom as well as Super Phallus, yes. I hear it's pretty hard, the, the series. I mean, I, I would know because I played this last week and I got up to that boss fight I couldn't beat. So we'll see. There we go. Jump. There we go. Done. Jump. There we go. Nice. Keep going. There we go. Oh, nice. Jump. 
PC88, Mega Drive, PC Engine, Super Famicom, Famicom, Switch, and PC. They made one for Famicom? I didn't know that. I gotta hunt that down. And the Switch. SD Valis, get Phantasm Julie. It's Phantasm Julie. Oh, okay, the lava level. Jump up. Jump up. There you go. So I remember last time I played this level, I got very lost. I think you just have to go from left to right. Alright, let's see here. Oh, oh, I didn't want to do that, but what? Whatever. Okay, jump. Get that heart. Oh, come up, come up. There we go. Jump up. There we go. Jump up, jump up, jump up. Jump up. There we go. Uh, 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 jump. There we go. Okay, hang on. Come up here. Come up there. Come up there. Okay. Oh, oh, this thing. They got the laser sword. Ballast Collection was on the Switch just last year. Ah. See, I'm just getting into Ballast, so I have no idea. And, you know, if I beat this game, I get hooked on the Ballast series. I'm going to be, like, all over these games. I'm gonna be like getting every every single Valis game ever. Let's see, can we get up here? Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta fall onto that platform. Jump up, jump, jump up, wait. Jump up, jump up, there we go. Oh yeah, I almost had it there. Jump, jump up. There you go. And fall down here. Cool. Jump up, jump up. There you go. Oh. Collection on the Switch is the PC ver PC Engine version. Okay. Many Valis included the one hentai on PC called Valis X. Oh boy. A hentai Valis game. Another Valis collection coming out on the Switch as well. Recently announced? Thought I, I think I, 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 I remember seeing something like that. That's probably why this guy sold uh, the game to my local game store. Probably heard the collection was coming out. It was like, all right, better sell all my Valis games to my uh, local game store. Here we are. Jump up. Oh, come up. Come on. A. Oh, little heart. A button, A button, A button. A button. Oh, jump past this. A button. Made it. Boss. The dragon. Kieran coming with the raid. Thank you so much, Kieran. What are you up to? Thank you for that raid. Let's get a shout out for Kieran. Can we get a shout out for Kieran? That's five E's. Kieran, thank you for that raid. Welcome on in, raiders. We just beat Ernest Evans for the Sega Genesis. Now we're playing Dallas. Gerties. Junero. Welcome. Kieran, you played some RE Director's Cut in the wheel. Which Director's Cut of Resident Evil did you play? Was it the uh, the DualShock edition with the, uh, with the bad music? Or was it the Director's Cut with the good music? Well, either way, I hope it was a good stream. Bamboozled, welcome on in. First one, not dual shock. Nice, cool. I beat the game. Yeah, we beat we beat uh, Ernest Evans, and um, that was a that was a tricky game, but we got through it. I mastered it. Couldn't you never get past level three in Ernest Evans. Level three, yeah. There's a apparently there's like a, a trick. There's like extra like health that you could get in that level, and I I was able to figure out where to go. Um, so all these. There's all these secrets in that game. 
And some of the some of like the boss enemies, you don't even you don't even need, need to attack. You just run past them. I like for the most part, I cheesed through that entire game. It was it was great. Now that final boss, though, I got I was really intimidated, but I was like, all right, I gotta save up as much continues as possible. So I had like two continues remaining, but I finished it. Uh, I'm actually getting the Sega CD version very soon, so that that should be great. Boom. All right, jump up here. All right, fall down. Oh, no, 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 jump. All right, grab the blue. CD sound by Wolf Team is always a good thing. Yeah, I know. Soul Feast. That's like one of my favorite games Wolf Team put out for the Sega CD. Next to Road Avenger. Road Avenger is amazing. Is this the boss? Game Creative Staff. Wolf Team. Okay. Thunder. So let's see. I think I see the pattern. Does the spinny wheel thingy jump over? Thunder. King of Hades, welcome on in. How you doing? Thunder. 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 Jump. Doing great. I'm doing really good. Doing really good. I voted today. Our uh, our town had a a local election for uh, for mayor. And I voted. I felt really great. We got a volcano level now. Scaling effects in the Wolf Team games? Yeah. <clears throat> I love, um... You know, something about the simplicity of the games. Uh, the bleeps and the bloops. Me, personally, about the Wolf Team games, I love the logo on the Sega CD where he's like, Game Creative Staff. Wolf Team. And I like when they ported... Yeah, they ported Co Cobra Command and... Robo, uh, Road Avenger over from the arcade to the Sega CD. The, those games are just great. I like the I like the um, the soundtrack they used. Um, and now I'm gonna revive when I hide on the road. Some it's some like classic rock singer from Japan singing that song. That's great. Time gal. Come on. It's like one of the best FMV games Sega CD ever uh, put out, I think. Road Avenger. You're splitting? Love Road Avenger. Need to get your Sega CD working again? Yeah. Sega CD... Like, out of all the CD systems I own, Sega CD's gotta be the most pain-in-the-ass system to maintain. Um, like, I, my, my, C, my Sega CD got a new belt, new drive belt put in, new fuse, new capacitors. It's good as new Sega CD. No matter what you throw at it, it's great. The only thing is, um, it can't really play CDRs that well, so it's good for playing, like, original discs. Uh... So, I only put in original discs on the Sega CD that I own. Um, and I think that sucks about the Sega CD. If you use it with the Model 1 Sega Genesis, you can't get stereo sound unless you use a special cable 
uh, like stereo, like a stereo cable. You plug a stereo cable into your headphone jack, and then you plug that into the back of your Sega CD, and you take an RCA jack, and then you plug it in the back, and then you put that in your stereo. But what sucks is, um, if I want to use a, if I want to use a real Sega, a real Sega Genesis with my retro tank, the SCART cable I have has no stereo mix. So I'm kind of like screwed if I want to get sound on uh, on my Sega CD with like the capture card. Um, and I know there's a way around it, but it's a pain in the ass because like the, the, the my capture card, the Elgato, uh, has analog has like an er analog um, line in jack, but when you plug any kind of source into it, it sounds like it's gonna clip. So. I never, I never use that port, that that jack. Um, flame ring. Let's use the earth real quick. Uh oh. Got him. Easy peasy. King of Hades wants to see a random retro item. You got it. Let's get a chance to pause, and I'll show that off. All right, what can we show off today? Uh, well, we're talking about Mega CD games. If you have the Model 1, you can imagine you, can turn the volume, you can't turn the volume up more than 5. Yeah, why am I looking over here? I don't have the Genesis hooked up. Um, You have a volume control slider on it. That's pretty cool that you can do that. Um, So tonight, how I'm playing Genesis, I'm using the analog. And I'm doing that because if I want to play Sega CD... You don't even need to hook up uh, an audio cable. You just pop it in and go. It's great. Uh, so this is Kyo Flying Squadrons, the Japanese Mega CD version. I have the special, like, slip cover that goes over it, but it's beat up, like, really bad. Um, I don't know if there was anything else that came with this other than the game. I don't know if there was, like, an instruction booklet or anything like that. I just have the box. Um, I've, so I've held on to this, like, flashy looking box. It's, like, sort of holographic, but not really. It's, like, foil. It looks really neat, even though the box is beat up. So I just hold on to that. And, uh, this is the actual game. Um, this game is fetching a pretty penny. When I first bought this game, uh, it was, like, a hundred bucks. This was, like, five years ago when I bought it. Uh, now it's a lot of money. Because... It's Kyo Flying Squadron. It's a cute em up. Uh, it's really good. I, I must say, this is great. Uh, That's what the instruction manual looks like in the inside. While we're on the topic, um, and when I bought the game, I actually tell you what, I, I'll tell you what this included. Um, it included the manual from the first game, but not the cover. The, the seller... Thought, oh, gee, I had the Japanese version. Why don't I just cut up my my original Sega CD copy of the game with no cover and throw this manual inside? So I got the guts to the the Kyo, the Kyo Flying Squadron Sega CD manual um, that is falling apart. So I just try to hold on to this. Um, so if I wanna if I wanna legit Kyo Flying Squadron manual, I just have to look for the cover for the manual. And I could just, like, staple this onto here. Or maybe not even staple it. Just, like, attach it somehow. Or don't even attach it. And be like, yo. Keel Flying Squadron Manual. 500 bucks. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I got the U.S. copy of the manual. Don't have the U.S. version of the game. Uh, one of my old friends actually got Keel Flying Squadron, the game. Sega CD U.S. version recently. And I believe they paid, like, $1,000. No joke. It was ridiculous. And I think it's over a thousand. It's like two thousand dollars. But I was like, fuck that. I'm just getting the say I'm getting the mega CD version, Japanese version. Hundred bucks, who cares? I'll take it. From a local game store. It was a local trade in they had, so it worked out great. And yeah, Kale Flying Squadron. And she's eating an ice cream cone on her little cute little dino looking bird thingy. Jelly as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, that's the random retro item. 
Thank you for redeeming that, King of Hades. And Tiana Min Square, welcome on in. How you doing? Let's get back to Dallas. Alright, let's see here. Earthquake. I think I got stuck on this level last time. Or maybe... I, no, no. I got... Maybe it's a little bit further down the road. There we go. Jump up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I got some really cool Japanese Mega CD games coming in the mail. I bought them. I, I went on eBay and Mercari and just, like, picked up a bunch of stuff. Uh, so one of the games is Robo Alisti and uh, Aliste. And uh, I got Ernest Evans, the Sega CD version. I, I got it just for the soundtrack because it's awesome. Uh, also got the Japanese version of Soul Feast coming in. Uh, even though I already own the US version, the Japanese version has a better uh, soundtrack. Um, they like take all the the sound effects from like the level and they like mix it into the 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 audio tracks. So it sound you get like a, a better sound experience. Um, plus it has the Japanese voices that sound really cool on the anime segments. So, got that coming in. Uh, also got another Wolf Team game. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what the Wolf Team game is that I bought. Um, let's just say Cinestubborn played it once. Fellow retro streamer Cinestubborn played it. I let I let him know that um, I got the game. So Cinestubborn and myself know what game it is, and. Uh, it's gonna be good. I probably gave too much away by saying that, but that's okay. That's the other that's the other wolf team game I picked up. And it's gonna be great. Shakan they they have Shakan the Fergerman? No, that only came out on the Genesis, but that game is hard. I'll tell you what did come to the Sega C D. Um Echo the Dolphin. That was another game that the that same creator, uh, Ed, a new, I call him Ed A. I don't know his last. I know his last name is like Hungarian or something, but I can't pronounce his last name. But I'll call Ed, the the dev from uh, Echo the Dolphin made Chikan the Forever Man, and that game is tough. It's a tough game. What we got next. This is a boss. But I do have Shikan the Forever Man on the Genesis. Um, that game is uh, that game is interesting. It's a hard game. It's also there's something about it. It's kind of creepy. It's a creepy game for the Genesis, but it's um it's good. It's hard. It's made by the same people that did X Men for the Sega Genesis. You know that X Men game on the Genesis where you have to hit the reset button on your uh, your console when you got past uh. Mojo's uh, go past Mojo. That was a hard stage too. Oh, it's this dragons. All right, so when he turns red, something happens. I think. You just have to attack him. Yep, thunder. Lightning. The reset button, yeah. And then when you play uh, the Clone Wars game, X Men, the second one, um, you you turn on the Sega Genesis. It just there's no Sega logo. It just brings you right into the game. I mean, there is a Sega logo. You have to beat, like, the first level. And then when you beat the first level, it plays the title screen. And it's some good cat jam stuff. Fantastic. Abysmal. Yeah. 
Alright, I think this is the last level we were we left off on last time, so I think we could get past this part. Let's see if we could do it. I think there's a there's a trick. There's definitely a trick to the the, the boss. But we got this gold thing. Okay, that's cool. Oh, what the? Uh, no. Uh oh. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Reset the computer. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this weapon because I think you have to kill the boss with this weapon. Any kind of sword upgrades, I'm just not gonna get. I'm gonna stick to this. I think I get the heart. Perfect. They have altered beasts on the Sega CD? No, but on the PC Engine CD, which is like the Turbo Graphics uh, 16 CD add-on, they have a version of Altered Beast for it, and it has anime cutscenes and stuff. It's it's kind of it's kind of interesting, interesting port. The actual game on the PC Engine's not that, not as good as the Sega Genesis version, but it has anime, so it's all good. Chip over there. I must say though, if it's a Sega CD game and it has anime cutscenes, you know that's that's the you know that's the system they knew how to pull off anime. Um, I remember playing Lunar the Silver Star for the first time, and I saw those those cutscenes. Sure, some of them weren't really voiced. Um, not everyone was voiced, but. Those cutscenes were just impressive. And now Lunar Eternal Blue, when I played that for the first time, I never finished Eternal Blue. Um, those cutscenes are very impressive. Good game, but it's hard as fuck. Yeah, this is a hard game as well. I'm gonna have a very hard time getting past this part. Okay, so this part right here, I think you gotta use the flame ring. And then just keep attacking. Yeah, then she like throws down like this this fucking thunder attack that kills you instantly. Dead. Oh, I almost had her. I almost had her. I almost had her. I almost had her. Flame ring. I almost had her. Oh no, I don't have any more shit. <sighs> I should have just dodged her attack. I'm probably gonna have to use continue. Dead. Instant kill. <sighs> yeah, you don't get any... This is definitely the sword you need, though. Come up. Lords of Thunder on Sega CD is very impressive, I must say. If you're looking for a good shmup, Soul Feast, Robo Aliste. You got Lords of Thunder. Surprised not there was not a lot of shmups on the on the system. Keel Flying Squadron. Oh crap. Hang on. Earthquake. I'm dead. PC Engine. It's the same game on the PC Engine. I, as far as I know, the soundtrack changed, and they put, like, sound effects. Hear me out. Toy Story 2 Repackaged. Gamer Jam. Toy Story 2 Repackaged. Toy Story 2 came out on Dreamcast N64, I think. Let's do Flame Ring. Take it.
Normal friend Tom coming in with the raid. Yo, normal friend Tom, thank you for that raid. PS1 game ported to PS5. Gamer, gamer Jamble. I almost said Gamer Jamble. Normal friend Tom, thank you for the raid. What were you up to? Thank you for the raid. What's up? We just finished, um... We finished playing Ernest Evans. Play Neo, nice. Good stuff. Now we're playing uh, Dallas. We're stuck on this fight. So wish, wish me lots of luck on this part. This, this fight right here. I'm a gunner. Dead. This is a good game. It's just challenging as F. Uh oh. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this part. So I think I have the right weapons. Flame ring. Flame ring. I wonder if I could bank on the uh, MP. I don't think you could. And I died instantly, damn it. Alright. I think this is one of those fights where... Yeah, you can't bank on the MP. Ugh. So you need, like, full health for this one. Flame ring. You need as much health as possible. Very difficult, yeah. Nope, dead. Dead insta kill. I'm just gonna continue. Continue. All right. So what? I start with this sword. Wait, no. Okay, so I gotta get the yellow sword. And just power that up. Start with that sword. Yo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome we'll on in. All right, so and I ah just get killed here. I need that yellow sword. Just I can't even get killed. I gotta die here. So I need the yellow sword super powered up. I need all my MP. And then survive the thunder and then just jump over her. So let's say I start here. Now this game stops messing around after a while. Grab that, got two of them. Stay here. Jump up. Nice. What do we got here? Special sword. Okay. Nope. That's okay. That's okay. Jump up. Grab that. Cool. Alright, so we need to get a power up. Powered up sword. Don't pick that up. Nope. Oh. Pick it up. Stick with the yellow. Yellow is our friend. There we go. Heart. Oh, hang on. Just jump over that. There we go. Alright. Jump over that. There we go. Got a heart. There we go. 
Gotta get her MP raised. There we go. Must get MP raised. This guy sucks. There we go. Okay, there we go. Got sword upgrade. Must get HP increase. There you go. There we go. I wonder if they got stuff up here. Can I climb up here? I could, right? No? Got it. Okay. Anything over here? Ah, fuck. Why do I even bother? Why do I why do I even bother? Well, why do I even bother? No, nope, there's nothing here. I have like no health now. I have no health. That was a foolish move. Do I get health? Yep, okay, we don't want to go that way. So we have we have no choice but to come up here and get more health. I'm hoping they have health up here. Because I need as much health as possible on that fight. So you get MP, not HP. that bolt comes back. Nope, we don't want that sword. Wait for it. There we go. There we go. Bull. There we go. Oh, another sword upgrade. This is great. Okay. I just need a heart upgrade. Oh. Anything? Oh, crap. No, what the fuck? I didn't want that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going back. Don't hold up and B. Yep. Run over. We got this sword upgrade. And I just have to go Rambo style on that fight. And we're good. Full HP. Use that ring of fire thing. And just go complete ape shit on that boss. We got this. There we go. Jump up. There we go. All right, flame ring. Just immediately use it. Oh, nice. We got it. Nice. Done. Finally beat her. Did it. That was a hard fight, but we got it. Finally beat that boss. That boss sucked. Finally. What happened here? She fell to the ground. She runs over. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Ta -da. No. Thanks for the GG. It sort of makes you think that was the ending, but I don't think it was.
Ugh, business. Tweed. Somebody. I'm in the desperate need of anyone who owns Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake's user manage manual who could scan specific page numbers for me in color in both 600 and 1200 DPI resolution. Do I own a scanner? I think I might be able to do this for that guy. Because I have Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Do I have a scanner? That's the real question. I think I do. I might be able to pull that off. Ba -ba -na -na. Maybe somebody helped them. Boom. I Old Valis games are not that short. It's a very famous series. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that was the last boss because we have, um, I think, another special power that we have to get. I get to be a, I get to be a hero to somebody on Twitter who wants a, a full color scan of the Solid Snake manual. I got it. I just hope up the ho I hope the manual I have doesn't have writing inside. All right, let's skip this. I'm ready to get back to the game. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So we got we got Death Flash. There we go. This might be the last level. Oh. Okay, I'm sticking to this sword. That's the, the reason why I didn't get rid of that other sword. I'm sticking to this sword. Boom. There we go. Get that heart. This is a boss rush or something. Spider. Thanks to those GG's, Kane. Let's see here. Balister, you can select characters as needed on the stage of the play. Oh, really? So this one, you just play as the, the girl. You don't play as the other one. Oh, crap. Come on. Jump. Cool. Jump up. Oh, there's something over there. I'm gonna get it. Jump. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Spider. It sounds like final level music to me. So I think we're getting there. Go. Oh. Oh, oh why did I do that? No, I didn't want to do that. It's so easy to accidentally hit. It's so ac yeah. I'm near the end. I it's so easy to accidentally hit up and B to use your MP. I go down there. I feel like if I fall down there, I'm gonna hit a trap. So I'm just gonna stay over here. Jump over. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm staying up here. I feel like if I fall down there, I won't be able to get back up. Go. All right, I'm gonna run and jump. We. There you go. Climb up here. Hey, 
There we go. Oh, come over here. Stand here. Nice. Keep going. Boss. Ooh. Castlevania vibes right here. There we go. Oh, nice. That's some Castlevania vibes. Oh, crap. Come up here. Uh, come up here. Oh, no. Okay, that's all right. I got all my MP. There we go. Oh, get the... Ah! Damn it. I should have got the one on the left. Dallas 3 Mega Drive, not the PC Engine version? Okay. Got him. Um, keep climbing up these stairs. Get somewhere. Wait for this guy to come out of the way. Oh, we don't want that sword. Or do we? I don't know if we need that sword or not, so I'm just I'm going to avoid it. Like the plague. Uh, I missed the heart. So suspenseful. Climbing up these stairs. It's like you don't know what to expect. We're finally at the top. Boss. Jump up. Don't want that. Ah, crap. Yeah, I've got the same. That's why I don't want to change weapons. Yeah, you never know. If I get, like, a super-powered yellow sword or something. I need health. There we go. Is that guy going to respawn? Probably. Oh, come up here. Climb up here. Climb every mountain. There we go. Got full health. Climb up here. Can we get a yellow? Nope. Ugh. Okay, we got them all. We got we got like everything we need. I think we we could do this. Oh crap! There we go. Jump up. Nice, boss. Oh, that fucking spider trolled me hard. What we got here? Boss. Oh, death Flash. I'm going to try this. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I kept this weapon. Oh, yeah. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, got him. What next? 
second form. Oh, hang in there. Flame ring. down already. Come on. Got him. Done. I think we beat it. At the end of the game? I think we beat it. Most unique Valus was Valus 1 on the PC-98. None was like uh, Valus 1. Same design from system to system. Also, it was on MSX. Oh, shit. I guess if I could get that on MSX, because I have one. I think I beat the game. Did I Did I win? That, was, that, that looked like a final boss to me. I'm glad I kept that final weapon, that, that yellow weapon. We beat it! Yeah, look at that. We beat Valus. Nice. Two games in one tonight. Good stuff. You know, I'm feeling lucky, guys. I'm feeling very, very lucky. I'm feeling very lucky. Let's let's pop in Soul Feast next. I think we could beat it. We did it. Beat it. Thanks to the GGs. That was my back I just cracked. My bad. That was a good game. I'm glad I, I held on to that weapon. I think I would have been effed if I had to, like, jump and attack with the sword the whole time. So I, I was glad I had that, like, upwards, uh... Ooh, she's got a golden bra on. She's like Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi. Special thanks to... Pando coming in with the raid! Pando, thank you for that raid. Let's get a shout out for Pando. What were you up to today? Jake. Jake and the Batman. Welcome on in. How you doing? Welcome, guys. Hope you guys had a good stream, Pando. Mr. Johnny. Play Final Fantasy VII. Nice. Good stuff. Thank you for that raid. Limit break grinding in Final Fantasy VII. Good stuff. Thank you so much for sending your community over, Pando. If you guys aren't already following Pando, uh, they're on... Team Retrosaurus with my, with uh, myself. Team I'm on the the, the the Twitch team Retrosaurus, run by Kyo, Kyo Rio Hunter, and uh, really good uh, group of people. Should go uh, check us out. Check out Pando for sure. Thank you for that raid. So we finished Ernest Evans for the Sega Genesis, and we just finished this game, which is Valus. And I think this is the. Wait, this is the epilogue. Or is this the beginning? I'm not even paying attention, am I? <laughs> Thank you for the fall. Appreciate it. Yep, that's the intro. Okay, yeah, so we just finished... Uh, we just finished... We finished Ernest Evans tonight. And we finished... Dallas... Now we're going to jump into one last game of the night. We're going to play Soul Feast. This is like my third time attempting at this game. So, let's uh let's let's see how we how we do. So, we got to pop that out. I need to unplug this. I need to plug in the Sega CD AC adapter. Hopefully this isn't so bad. Plug that in. Turn that on. Switch this over. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do this. Wait for that to turn on. Game. Where's the thing? Now, the, the volume might be different. I think it's okay. All right, so we hit reset. Reset. We pop in our Soul Fee Sega CD disc, and uh, 
Hope for the best. Holy moly, I have actually game, actual game cartridges? I do. I play on real hardware. I use no emulation whatsoever. The only times I use emulation is if, um, if I'm de I desperately want to play the game. And that rarely happens, because usually I own all the games. Wowzers, indeed. Okay, so Soul Feast. Let me change the title on Twitch. So this is 1992? Wolf Team? Game Creative Game Staff. Creative staff. Wolf team. Wolf team. So this is Soul Feast. Soul Feast. Sega CD. And like, uh, <laughs> like third attempt. In the distant future, approximately 300 solar systems, including our own, are under the domination of a computer life form. Alright, I'm gonna keep on Genesis because it technically works. Alright, last game, Soul Feast, 1992 Wolf Team. I guess we'll watch the intro just for the hell of it so you guys get to see anime. Wow, anime. And plan to end the oppressive control of this machine. Unfortunately, the human underground movement is detected by the interplanetary security force of the GCSWT before the overthrow can begin. The humans are branded as an unnecessary and dangerous race, resulting in their systematic genocide. But the movement had not completely died. Edwin Feats, a scientist from the fifth planet in the Altile solar system, managed to penetrate the security code of the GCSWT and destroy the data in the data bank. The humans believe that the GCSWT would be inoperable for 300 hours while it was recovering from the destroyed data. The last hope left for the humans was to reach the planet Earth while the GCSWT was inoperable and destroy the computer life form. Hang on one second after the task tweet. Just mind, need to the starship get Soul Feast left for a treacherous journey. Nice scanner. how that fails the msx version is not good at all some of them slip, split from old team informed triace and star ocean oh shit Somebody say Star Ocean? What's up, Kill? Come on in. How you doing? Could be in for a battle. Could be in for a battle with the Star Garrison. Star five Garrison. Locations and away five locations away. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. The weapons plant on the outer rim of Sirius. The artificial sun. The Pluto base in Jupiter. That fell. Damn it. I gotta change this. I gotta change the, the layout on my desk. Shit fell down. Take off. Take off. Alright, this is like my third attempt at this game. No joke. This game is really hard. So wish me luck. Hopefully we'll get somewhere. Soul Feast. And we'll watch the, the trailing cutscene just for the hell of it. The skill system finally clicked and your brain is enjoying seeing the number get big. You played so much Star Ocean for today? Oh man. Yeah, I, I caught your stream in the beginning when I was working today, uh, Kyo. Star Ocean's like a lot of money now, 
right? That, that, that game went up like crazy. Four hours or so. PSP games are expensive, but the rest is affordable-ish. Ah, okay. I'm thinking of some. I'm thinking of like another series. No, the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie game, the Valkyrie games on PS1 are like really expensive. That's what I was thinking of. Because Upside Down Matt's playing the PSP version of Valkyrie Profile or Valkyrie. Get the core. And uh, I went to go look at the price. It's like six hundred dollars for the PlayStation version. Fun. I saw him play. I'm like, wait, this is a 2D side scroller? That's a platformer? That look, this looks really cool. Chris got it for a steal around 300. Oh shit. Nice. Yeah. Currently, my flavor of the month is Sega CD, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. All right, so let's load this up. We're going to do speed. We're going to do rank normal, middle, game start. For PS1, yeah. That's nothing. LSD is like a thousand dollars. The Japanese import. That game's insanely expensive. I want to play that too. Used to be cheap. Thanks to memes, it's gone up like crazy. Yep. It's like Harmful Park. That used to be really cheap as well. Pepsi Man is, is like. What is it like Pepsi Man? Like over a hundred bucks now, thanks to like JonTron and like memes and stuff. People like me that stream that game all the time. It's like the best ever. Sixty when you got it? Yeah, I think it used to be like thirty at one point. Now it's yeah. Now when I got it, it was like a hundred. And at one point it dipped up to like 150 and it went back down. But it's probably, it, it probably went up some more. For the memes, once again. Like if you want to play Pepsi Man, just play last, just play um, Fighting Vipers on Sega CD. And I, I can't believe I died. I'm starting that over. Fuck that. Fuck. Fuck. Come on, load up, load up, load up, load up. Not supposed to die on the first stage of Soul Feast. You're supposed to die on like the fifth level. Sega. Do you have a Model 1 or Model 2 Sega CD? This is a Model 1 Sega CD. I have a Model 2 in my storage unit. Um, the the disk drive doesn't read as well as the Model 1, but this Model 1 is brand new. Basically, not brand new, but it's it's been recapped. New drive belt, new motor, new fuse, new everything. Um, so it's good as new, but it only works with new, it works with like retail CDs. So yeah, game start. Sprung for a recap on your PS One. Ah. I can see that the audio is getting into that yellow. So let me turn that down just a tad. We'll bring it down to a nine. That's a little bit better. Perfect. Sega stuff recap, yeah. I have another Model 1 Sega CD that needs to be recapped. And like I think the whole drive needs to be replaced, replaced as well. Like Most Sega CDs suffer from that issue where if you put a disc in the drive, it ejects immediately. It means there's something wrong with the belt. Um, it's got a new Game Gear today. Nice. Yeah, my Game Gear is... Uh, <laughs> that needs to be recapped. That LCD screen is effed. Uh, but I don't really need a Game Gear anymore because I got my analog pocket. Full cap and an LCD screen. Nice. Okay, so this part I got killed on. Stupid bullets. 
Cool. that down. Stay down. Neo Comico, welcome on in. Sega systems and bad caps. Uh, they use cheap parts. That's what happened. The capacitor, anything that has like capacitors that are bad, or not not bad, like they're are like cheap, low quality. They leak over time. So I, I would say like with any kind of like old retro game system has that problem, but. Notoriously, like the system, the CD-based systems have that that issue for some reason. Uh, like I never, I, I never ran across a capacitor leak issue with the Sega Genesis. Uh, so yeah, my turbo, my my PC Engine Duo, uh, the cap, the capacitors need to be replaced. That's why I, I don't really stream TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine CD games, even though I have them. If I were to stream them, you guys wouldn't be able to hear what's going on. Um, so that's the downside of that. So if I could get it recapped, tell you what, if I could get my, my duo recapped, I'll look into getting the RGB mod. If I could do that, I'll totally stream. PC Engine again. That's that system's another can of worms. I love it, but even bigger can of worms is the Super Graphics system. Super Graphics was like this standalone um, PC Engine that like had its own library of games, only five, um, and. Uh, I think there was like a shmup on that system that's like really expensive and it's good. Uh, and like one, and then another one's like a mech game, some sort of mech platformer uh, situation. There we go. That's all you need. Don't die. Don't lose your weapons. Don't lose your weapons. There we go. Don't lose your weapons. Don't die. This is, this is a good set of weapons here. There we go. Talking to the game. There we go. Close one. Uh, oh, why did I get rid of the, the bomb? Okay. Don't die. There we go. Boss. That thing's still chasing after me, huh? Wow, this thing is still chasing after me. Is he gonna chase after me into the boss? I think so. Stay there. Stand over here. Stay here. Come on, just die already. Come back here. Got him. Okay. Should be able to knock this guy out. So five lives, not too bad. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Goody. Got him. 
Ooh, I might be feeling lucky tonight, guys. If this, <laughs> this keeps up. If I stick with these weapons, I think we'll be set. So I, got, I got the laser, the grenade launcher, and the, and the, uh, the, the Vulcan. So we might be, uh, might be on our way somewhere. All right, just don't die. This level sucks. Ah, fuck, and we died. Oh, hey, we got it back. Ish. All right, stand here. These guys. Come over here. Got it. Okay, cool. Bomb blows up. Okay, get that. Get that. Perfect. Okay, I think we're in better shape than before. Dead. Yeah. This that part always gets me. This part. I had the lasers. I can knock these guys out. No problem. All right, stand here. Stand down, stand down, stay here. Stand right. Oh crap. Two lives remaining, that's not good. And one life remaining, nice. There we go. Zero lives remaining. Okay, get past this part. Yeah. I almost died, Derek, that would have been bad. That, that would have been really bad. Mega laser. All right, this boss. Hopefully, we could take him out. Boom. All right, so go forward. Shoot it. Stay here. Oh crap, you kidding me? <sighs> yep, I was like, everything's coming up Millhouse, and then all of a sudden I get stuck. <laughs> Continue. All right. Enter into the sphere of artificial solar gravity and pass through it immediately. Okay. Keep shooting. Oh, okay, so I got the laser. Uh, I'm not gonna last with just the laser. Definitely not gonna last with just the laser. Dead. Uh. There we go. Oh, got that. Dead. There's just too much shit on the screen. This part sucks. I don't know how people survive this level. This level sucks. It's forgiving, because you got continues. And... Dead. There we go. Don't die. Don't die. There we go. This part... 
dead. <sighs> Terrible. Second, second game over. All right, we beat Ernest Evans and we beat Vallis. We should be able to beat this now. This should not be a problem. This this early wolf team difficulty we got to deal with here. All right, here we go. That. Laser. Ah, got the. Just got the laser. That's all. No variety. And that doesn't kill him. Dead. And we lose the laser. There we go. Don't get killed. Don't get killed. I got lucky. I go forward. Come down. Go backwards. Shoot that guy. There we go. And take damage on that guy because he's an asshole. Grab that. There we go. All right, at least we got two lives left. We're doing it. Straight, go this way, come back that way. Take this guy out. And we take a death, because we die over Ricochet. Get the double firepower. Okay, so this part, this boss is annoying. You don't even fight this, th you think you're about to fight this guy, but you don't actually fight that guy. You fight the sandworm, or the, the sunworm. Come up here and just stay at him. Lay it, lay it on him. Oh, come on. Now I got zero lives. This is terrible. Stay here. All right. Bring it out. Stay here. Dead. Fourth, third game over already. Oh, man. Okay, so when I go in there, and I see the lasers, get a laser, get another laser. That's simple. Come on, this level's supposed to be easy. And then the, the next level's where I'm supposed to get killed. That guy, shoot 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 that guy. Get that, get that. Oh, grab that. And insta kill. Terrible. Yo, Prof Matthias, welcome on in. How goes it? Alright, come back. Take that guy out. Shoot him, 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 shoot him. Boom. Good. Yep, back on this game. Yeah, so Prof, we beat. Ernest Evans and Dallas, and now we're playing this this game again. We're trying our luck at this game once again. And I fucking blew up and died again. Every time I say I, I, I'm gonna give Soul Feast another chance, I think I, I can do it. And then you get up to this this level here. And boom. Right, so then these things go away. Dead. Fourth game over. What's it the star a star's atmosphere look like? Not too bad. Star's atmosphere. Yeah. Looks like a star's app. Oh, it even says it in the thing. I thought this was the solar level. It says, next mission, enter into a sphere of an artificial solar gravity and pass through it immediately. Ah. Oh. All right, so we'll try this again. Get the laser, pick up the second laser, survive. 
these guys. Shoot that thing. Grab it. Get that. Perfect. Okay. Spread it out and just blow shit up. Two. We'll die. There we go. Alright, go top. There we go. Oh, I missed the... I don't have the laser. Now I have the two grenades. Eh. It will do. And we lost it because they came from the top. Ter I was about to hit ABC start, but that will reset the game ultimately. Right. Go up. Go back down. There you go. Come really fast at you. Straight up. And death. There you go. This guy comes out. He teases you a little bit. Comes out. You get these guys. Okay. Get the guy in the center. All right, good. All right, let's F up this boss. So you spread these guys out. And just... Don't even try any funny business. Just beat the crap out of this guy. Down here. Switch back and forth. Good, stay there. Oh, there we go. Now he comes out again. Oh, there we go. There. What the fuck? That was fucking bullshit. Alright, take this guy out. Oh, he's, he goes on the bottom now. Come on, just fucking die already. Stay there. Come on, stop. There we go, finally. There's our extra one. Very good shmup. Ugh. Warning, enemy cruise ship is making a fast approach. I'm probably gonna get game over on this, this level. I don't know if it's intended, but this level I always take like two deaths instantly. There we go. Take that guy out. Dead. Well, I don't know, maybe. We might be able to make this. Spread out. Yeah, everybody shits on this game. I, I, it, it, whether it's because of the sound effects or the title of the game, this is a great game. It's hard. I mean, when I was little, I used to beat it all the time, but the only reason why I, I was able to do it is because I cheated. I put like infinite lives and I was able to beat the game. Infinite lives, it's pretty easy. But if you just sit down and you play it with the regular five, it's tough. It's like it has contra difficulty to it. Except that contra, you have limited continues also. Let's see, so I get that. Get the bomb here. Dead. Alright, I knew I was gonna take those the death there, but that's okay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna use a continue here. 
then I have to take an intentional death here to spawn the the three the three shot because that's the only way you get through this part. The question is, when do you take that intentional death? Like right here. Grab it. that part out. These guys out. Alright. Spread them. There. Oh, actually, yeah. Just do like that. That might be a good combo right there. Comes out, come back in. Three laps. Alright, stay here. Getting shot. Stay in the center here. Center. Nice. Good. Good call. I right, stay down here. Take this guy out. Get that guy out. Get this guy out. And insta-kill. Take that guy out. Nice. And then just go up and down. Up and down. Two lives. We might be able to survive here. And don't die here. <laughs> when I first played this boss, I thought this was the boss for this stage. Nope, I was wrong. over here. And I died. I can't believe I fell for that part. I actually fell for that fucking death right there. Unbelievable. Come on over. Stay up here. And terrible. Take your time, take your time, go that way, come down, come that way. That way, stay down, come this way. Just gotta play it by ear, this boss fight here. Come down. Nice, got him. Extra life. All right, this next level. This next level sucks. Because even if you get past this next level and you beat, you get to the next level. If you die and get game over, you come back to this level. Now, the real question is, if you make it to the final level, do you come back to this level? There you go. There we go. I guess we'll never we'll never really know. Dead. There we go. Go forward. It's all it's all RNG. All right, that's okay. I, I'm glad I took the death there. This level, I I sort of mastered this level. It's it's all luck based. 
Uh, but if you get the good, you get the good luck RNG, you, you be able to get through it, no problem. In the second level, you just need the lasers, and you just have to, like... You have to be able to dodge the, the boss at the end. Put the laser. Damn it. I actually... Yep, I goofed up. I actually goofed up on this part, and I'm gonna die, because I'm not paying attention. Stay down. Right, go up one. That was a close one. Go down one. Somehow I'm surviving. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Close one. This thing comes up. Get down. Watch the laze the the bullets. Okay, this part stay forward. Close one. Alright. This, this part. Alright, spread them. Just shoot. Dead. And I died again. Terrible. Well, I have no, I have no weapon. No bullets. There we go. Spread them. Oh. Got him. Okay. This next level. I think you get a laser at the beginning. It's obviously the planet Jupiter. Blow out the enemy's last stand. The last stand. That boss sucks. I got the wrong weapon altogether for this this level. Stay down. And I die. It's not good. Dead. Dead. Terrible. I can't stand this level. Alright. Let's see here. Give it a few more tries. If we're uh, stuck on this, not getting anywhere, I'll probably, probably call it. But uh, I'm confident we'll, we'll get there. We got to get the laser to be on the bottom. The, the bottom gun. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I got the wrong... That's not good. So it's easy to collect the gun. It's very easy to remove, to, to lose the gun.
Wow. What the fuck was that? Go forward, come backwards, go forward again, go backwards, go forward. Cool. Easy peasy. Alright, two lives. Look at these rotating boxes. They just seem so out of place. So this part, you don't spread the gun just yet. You shoot this guy first. Dead. Okay, I died there because I had obviously got the wrong weapon. Need the laser. Continue. Next mission, blow up the enemy's Pluto base. Oh, and I fucking lost it again. Ugh. Let's get killed. Let's get killed. We need the, um, we need the laser. Come on. Just die. Boom. So you need the yellow laser. You need the grenade. Yellow laser, the grenade, and the, um, the main laser. The yellow laser has to go down, preferably, so you can shoot out the, um, the ground targets from the next level. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Alright, watch I lose it, because this level is insanely hard. Yeah. Don't die. Don't get killed. And I fucking died immediately. Terrible. By the way, I curse a lot on here in case you haven't noticed. Terrible. Alright, I'm gonna try it anyway. Just wish they got like weapon upgrades like later on. This thing comes out and gets you for no apparent reason. Alright. Okay. Alright, so stay down. Those lasers go away. Alright, so this boss fight, not hard at all, just annoying. Shoot this guy out. So just shoot that laser. Shoot that laser. <laughs> Take your time. Not a rush. Yeah, I'd say shoot out the big laser first because time segment here is kind of annoying. Yeah. And wow. I should have just stayed where I was. Blow it up, blow it up. Got an extra life, stay there. Wow. I like how I say wow. It's like it's it's sort of like the uh, the Owen Wilson wow <laughs> mixed in with the uh, Chris Rock saying wow when he gets slapped by Will Smith. <laughs> wow. All right, here we go. This level. 
There we go. Spread them. This part, just spread them. Stay on the bottom. Yeah, so you just have to stay on the bottom. It's still possible we can still beat this level. I, I know in like past runs I've gotten pretty far into the boss. I've gotten up to the boss before. Um, there's just some parts that get extremely annoying. Like up to this this point right here, I think you fight a like a boss, like a mini boss sort of sort of uh, thing. This thing right here. Yeah, shoot this thing. Sends his, uh, his tentacles at you. Dead sea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Unless you have the laser, you're better off not even attacking that thing. Just to just dodge. Because it's just, it's not even worth it. All right, continue. So I don't even know if you get to the final level. If you died, where does it send you? I don't know if the devs did this on purpose. It sends you here. There we go. All right, so we got what we wanted. Got to hold on to this. All right. Promise not to say wow if I die. Or curse. I was tempted to saying wow, but I didn't want to do it. Alright, so just stand here. Will we go up one? Shoot that guy. Alright, we're gonna dip down. Sort of like back up right here. There we go. Dip under. Cool. Made it past there. Used to play this game a lot when the pack in the Sega CD was first released. Hey, Taney, how you doing? Yeah, this came with the Sega CD Model One, and I, I, I remember, I remember seeing some of the reviews of this game. People shit on this game completely. Like, why? You're getting a free shmup with your game. I guess people were just complaining because it wasn't Sonic or something. That's what I'm thinking. The demand for playing shmups back then in America, I guess, weren't there. But in Japan, they were. But that had to be awesome that you got this game for free. There we go. It did come out on the Genesis, I think, like two years later. Um, they just took out the CD soundtrack and added Genesis FM music to it. Still on Soul Feces? Uh, yeah, we beat, um, so, Dayman, we beat Ernest Evans and Dallas tonight. And then just as a bonus, this is the bonus game we're playing, Soul Feces. But yeah, I'm still on it. Enemies Last Stand. All right, so this level, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab these, go top, go bottom, boom, open up. Did I play the Sharp X68000 version, it has different graphics. I do, I have played it, yeah. I actually have a Sharp X68000. Uh, the sound effects are actually better than the, the Genesis version. Uh, I think that was the original system it was, uh, it was intended for. 
And then it came out on Sega CD and the Genesis. Center. So stay on the ground. Pick up the ground targets. This part. Just keep those spreaded. Take that out. Don't die. So this part. Stay on the ground. Spin around. Spin around. Yeah, just spin around. That's all. Spin around. Perfect. I think a I think something comes out, gets you. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Ish. Stay down. Come on. Don't die. Nice. Don't die. There we go. We're almost there. Yo, Lothos, welcome on. How you doing? This part. All right. Keep it together. I think I know the pattern for this fight. When he shoots out the, the yellow lasers, you have to go up instead of down. Thumbs out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Damn it. I keep effing up. This is terrible. Actually made it past the fucking yellow laser. Finally made it past the yellow laser. Dead. Wow. I got so much further that time. Oh. I lost all my weapons. That that's a deal breaker when you get up to that point. This is the biggest the biggest deal breaker once that happens. So you have to kill him with the yellow laser. Next mission, blow up the enemy's Pluto base. Alright, so we'll try this again. Getting better each time. Alright, we're using... Yeah. Use the top laser this time. Forward. They're gonna come out from behind. Stay down. Literally, just stay down. Forward. Take that guy out. There we go. Go forward. Oh. Stay down. Oh, wow. That was unfair what just happened. Yeah, like I said, this is all this is all RNG based, this stage. Yeah, you can't die on this stage because you gotta carry that weapon all the way to the next stage. They, I think that's why they send you back to this stage when you die. Either that, or they're just trying to be a holes. Dead. Come up over the side, go down. Instead of stubborn, welcome on in. How you doing? Enjoy your lurk. We're on the, the wolf team kick tonight. We beat Ernest Evans and Dallas. Now we're on Soul Feast. I think the trick is to just stand back and just shoot until that big laser goes down. Go forward. Dad. Annoying. Go forward, come back. Come on, just 
blow up already. Blow up. Yeah, and that boss fight, I don't think, like, if you die, you're kind of effed. Anyway, all right, so this this is, we'll just hold on. We'll get the, the grenade on the top, grenade on the bottom, and just go at it. Next mission, blow up the enemy's last stand. Here we go. Take this guy out. Shoot that guy. Go bottom. Go top. Protect at all costs. why you gotta blow out these uh, enemies they shoot these green like dust at you that like kills you instantly green confetti I guess you can say that green green glitter glitter bombs right, stand back forward okay so this part just shoot him come around spin around Close one. Big freaking close one. Right there. Stay down. I'm gonna go forward. Wow, I lost my life. That's not good. I don't have the, uh, I don't have the bombs. The boss is gonna take forever to go down now. Or might not even go down. Ah, crap. Lose it. Get an extra life? I think I earned a life. I might have. Okay, stay here. This fight. Come on. Go forward. Close one. Go forward. Alright, wish me luck. Just gotta shoot the hell out of these guys. Dead. Come on. This thing comes out. Shoot. It's impossible. Dead. Yep, you can't kill that boss with the regular firepower. You you need the grenades. All right, we'll try this again. That was my Sega CD. My Sega CD makes noise, but it works. The Game Genie shirt? No, it's a too many game shirt. In the style, of Game Genie. I went to Too Many Games 2019. That was the theme, Game Genie. Uh, why did I pick that up? Oh, uh, no. I might have picked the laser up. That's not going to work. Come down. Come up. Go forward. Okay, stand forward. Hey there. Go forward. Go down. Left. There you go. Come up. Don't die. Go. Dead. <sighs> terrible. Terrible, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Dead. Alright, at least we made it to the boss. Go down. 
Whoop. Alright. I want to see the worst ending in video game history where they, they beat the final ship and they're like, it's all over, isn't it? And it starts. Dead. Don't pump that. Come on. Kill that thing already. Nice, that was a close one. All right. Got him. All right. This level. Cool. What's up? Yo, Lightning, welcome on in. How you doing? We beat two games tonight. We're trying to do Soul Feast one final time. I mean, not final time. Hopefully the final time. Third attempt at this. Go top. Okay. Spread them. So I have to hold on to this weapon the entire level. Seems easy enough. in the mood for good shmup, yeah. It's a hard shmup. It's not like a, a shmup where you die, you just put another quarter in, you keep going. You have to, it, it sets you back like two levels. It pulls a ninja Gaiden on you. Alright, so I go forward. The trick is to uh, go around this guy. Go around this guy. There we go. Guess there's really no pattern to this boss fight dead. I don't have it. <sighs> Lost my weapon. Hey, thanks for the fall. Appreciate it. This I don't know how I'm gonna get past this boss fight. I don't know how we're gonna get past the fight now. Your life. Boss. I don't know how we're going to get past this part. But wish me luck. I'm going to stay down here. I, do I do damage if I stay down? Stay down. You, yeah, you lure him down here. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. Nice. I got him in a loop. Oh, yeah. That's what you do. This pattern right here. I think I got him. Just freaking die already. Oh man, that's what you do. Keep shooting at him. Come on, just die already. <laughs> that's funny. Oh. He's on the next one. Get him. 
dead. Dead. Oh, crap. Dead. Oh, man. I got... I know what to do now. I know what to do now. Harder than Batsugan? I... No, Batsugan's freaking hard. I know what to do now. There's a pattern to that fight. You gotta get him in a loop and keep spinning. Now, imagine doing that with the... The bomb. That probably will... That's probably the, the solution. It's a long fight, too. All right, we're putting the laser at the uh, in the ground here. And we lost the weapon. That's okay. Just have to beat this level and we'll get the bomb. Taking a bit of damage. Yeah, quite a bit. I got really close on that fight. It was the stupid, when he shoots the blue stuff out, that's when it's hard to avoid those bullets. And it's, if you, especially if you get killed, you have to, you get like all your weapons back from that capsule. And you, you know, naturally you're going to try and get, try to get that, the caps, you know, your bullets back. Let's see, you know, this sucks. Dead. I got nothing. A oh, close one. Yeah, I'd say in this game, if you die, you're better off just, like, getting game over for some of this stuff. No question mark. <laughs> Alright, this part. Shoot that part. Come that way. Got it. All right, there we go. Never did make it to the last level without codes. Yeah, me too. When I was little, I used to use codes all the time. And I'm just curious, like, if you die on the last level, where does it send you? Like, do you just loop at the last level? If so, we might beat this tonight. We might just do it. Down, go up. Oh! Oh my gosh. Dude, that's fucking terrible. <laughs> Immediately lost it. Eh. You know, just get, just get killed. <laughs> when that happens, you just get killed. <laughs> Not even worth it. Yeah, the game, the game now knows I know how to beat it. So now it's going to make it a lot harder. It's pulling a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES. Once uh, the game found out I knew how to beat Shredder, the game, forget it, the game just got harder and harder. Grab that. Okay, so I got the laser. Okay, laser in the center, I'll do. Laser in the center isn't so bad. Just can't get killed. Stay down. But who are we kidding? We're gonna get killed anyway. Oh, see, I knew we were gonna get killed. I knew we were gonna get killed. Yep, and we got killed there too. Got two lives. Stay here. 
back up. Dead. Yeah, at this point, you just get killed. <laughs> you just get killed there, because I, I ran out of lives, and I got rid of all my good weapons at the beginning. Continue. Oh, man. I never thought I would get stuck on this level. Ugh. Next mission, blow out the enemy's Pluto base. Okay. Oh, sorry. Well, there we go. And it's okay, because I'm gonna get rid I'm gonna get killed anyway. Stay here. There's so much shit on boom. Fucking missile. Get me? If I see in this corner, I should be okay. Yep. How did I know that thing was gonna get me? Heading for bed. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, no problem, Zorak. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping as always. Eventually we'll get here. I'm just gonna try a few more times to be honest with you. <laughs> Eventually, I gotta give out on this. I'm getting better. At least I know the trick to that boss fight. It's just getting up to the boss a little bit more consistent with an adequate supply of weapons. There's like three phases to that boss, I noticed too. Alright, it's so this form right here. Get rid of this thing as soon as effing possible. Go this way. Shoot that thing. Blow that thing up. Come on. Close one. Clutch. Clutch. The bombs. Bullets and the bombs. Just ridiculous. Boom. Alright, I got one. You earn an extra life. Usually. This boss just like kills himself. My last game for the night? Yeah, it is. I have to hit the hay very soon. I think I'll try. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I think, I think I'm just gonna have to say this is my last credit. All right, I'm gonna say that this is my last credit. I do have to get to bed though. Gotta find the common ground to uh, halt for the night. So this is my last credit. Hopefully we can beat the boss. If we beat the boss, then it won't be my last credit. <laughs> oh crap. Yeah, this is actually gonna be my last credit. So I goofed up. Now I don't have the freaking bomb now. Wow. Never mind, that's when you die. Okay. Never mind, that's not my last credit. This is my last credit. I thought I was gonna get a, a good a good run on that boss, but stupid freaking missile. This is my last credit, regardless of the outcome. That's just annoying. <laughs> you get all, all the way up to that fight and you can't get the bomb again. Right, so if I could get if I could get weapon through this part, no problemo. It's all good in my in my books. Show these bullets and then they shoot a missile. From like behind. Let's 
guy's gonna shoot a freaking missile at me. If I stay here, I should be okay. Theoretically. That's just unfair. So even if you wanted the laser, you just get screwed over completely. Alright, come over here. Just avoid the bombs. Go this way. Calm down. Final credit of the night, regardless of the outcome. Unless I get to the final stage. And if I find out that the final stage, if you get game over, you start the final stage and beat the game. That's the rule. Shoot. Blow that guy up. Come forward. Nice. I like how this boss just like loops. The laser just loops over and over again. Oh, that was a close one. Alright, go this way. Pull this thing. Awesome. <sighs> Alright, we're doing better than before. In terms of holding on to this life. Come on, just blow up already. There we go. Just have to get through this part. I think eventually it yeah, it just kills the boss off. Alright, so I gotta get the top and the bottom. I think there's a way to get the middle, too. Grenade launcher on all, all sides. Hmm. Get the grenade launcher. Just get the grenade launcher for the bottom. Alright, here we go. Spread them. Hold on to them. I think at one point... They do drop another grenade launcher. You just have to, like, sort of pay attention when they drop it. There we go. Perfect. So I got grenade launchers on all sides. That's actually pretty cool, because now I, I think I might be able to kill this boss if I could hold on to this weapon the entire level. We might have a shot. All right, so this part, don't even waste time killing this boss. Don't even waste time, just focus on killing the ground target. Focus on getting the ground target. This thing sucks. And I oh, I almost died. I almost I almost died. I made it. Wow. Okay, cool. We're doing it. I think that fucking how if the thing is gonna come out and get me. Five lives. Alright, stay down. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Stay down. I think we have a shot. I think we have a shot. Don't die. We might have a shot here. Okay. We're going to hold on to this thing. We have a shot. No, we don't have a shot, and I love the lack of iframes you get in this. All right, so we're going to stay down here. All right, so you come over around here. Uh-oh. Stay down. Let this thing come down. Yeah, very easy to lose that weapon instantly. It's gonna come out. Oh, 
Okay. Got him in the loop. Just have to spin around in circles until he goes down. The, the laser does come back in full force. Okay, laser comes back. All right, this thing comes out. Uh oh. Dead. All right, we're done. We're done for the night. Because <laughs> every time I, I, I say I could get up to that boss, I, I got it. So we'll give up. I think that's all for the night. We'll uh we'll stop here, uh. But yeah, yeah. Let's get a get a recap. We played uh Ernest Evans and we beat it. And then we played some Valis and we beat it. Then we made a third attempt at Soul Feast. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. But this time, at least we could get past the first set of yellow lasers on that fight. So we're getting there. We're definitely gonna get there soon. I need to practice getting. Because I managed to get all the way up to the boss with all three of those grenade launcher things. I think if I had a good run where I could get past that first form without getting blown up, I think we have a good chance at beating that, that fight. And I think the problem is um, just losing the weapons quick. So we'll, we'll try a couple more times. Eventually, I think we'll get it and we'll beat Soul Feast. So yeah. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so I want to thank you all for coming to my stream tonight. I appreciate everybody from all the raids coming by, chilling out, watching me play. Uh, guys, get up my socials. You can follow me on Twitter, Discord, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, tap that follow and a notification bell so you know when I go live. Uh, we're we're going to be back tomorrow night. I'm going to be playing... Um, I'm going to be playing Mega Man Legends 1 for the PlayStation. It's going to be the first time I'm going to play this game ever. Uh... So that's going to be great. So tune in tomorrow night, uh, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Not enough to say good live. That's why I'm cool. Thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate your kind words. Yes. So we'll be back tomorrow night. Mega Man Legends PS1. Uh, thank you all for coming out. appreciate y'all. Let's see who's on. Let's go raid somebody. Uh, I got to get to sleep. And uh, stick around for that raid. You get some awesome channel points. Who could we go say hello to? Um, uh, who can we say hello to? Um, okay. I'm just going to look at my list and I'll pick a raid target. Um, hmm. Um... You know what? Um, I think I owe Cody a raid. He raided me last week. Gave me a good raid last week. Let's go return the favor. Raid DS Koopa. Um, but yeah, he's an awesome guy. He uh, runs Pink Gorilla Video Games out in Seattle, Washington. Not Pink Gorilla Video Games. They don't sell just video games. Uh, Pink Gorilla Games out in Seattle, Washington. He streams out of his store, sells games out of his store, uh, fixes games, does all this stuff. Uh, really cool guy. If you save up enough channel points, you could uh, you could buy stuff out of his store. They call them personal shopping sessions and stuff. Uh, Raiding during a shopping session. This is great. Okay, so you guys get to see him run around and stuff. So that's great. No, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Raid call. First message if you're sub to the channel. Second message if you're not sub. Uh, everybody have a good night. Let's go say hi to Cody. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for some Mega Man Legends. Good night, everybody. Have a good one. Peace out. Four. <sighs>